Good morning. Good, good evening. Happy time zone, everybody. Sorry. Oh, well, Friendos here are tangenting and <laughs> making me just die. I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I am moving right <laughs> now. However, to say hello. for hello, a you for a wonderful, a fun little belated Halloween kind of stream, I figured it'd be something to do something a little special, namely playing a 3DS game, a 3DS horror game to be precise. And if you check stream, I got some cool ass lighting going on. We getting all Ooh. eerie over here, like emanating like uh, a glow from the screen yeah, I, I worked hard on this <laughs> yeah, well more the box is still up well more Ren had made this but fuck it why would you steal Ren's under like that fuck you like it's not throwing there under the bus N Nia is actually I confident that's where nothing stole their thunder. <laughs> oh, dare. that's a little cupcake <laughs> I haven't met everybody, but Ren's like the cupcake out of the people I've met. Oh no, absolutely. You're not Talk wrong. About the bird you the know, baby. You Ren was me. actually Water. Ren was actually kinda poking me being like, hey, could I actually stream tonight? <laughs> you were hoping they would, but did they not? Offer? They they were they've been curious about wanting to like stream again, but problem is is that Actually, that might be better for if Ren were to pop up for stream for tonight. Oh, are people too. okay with are people okay with that? Because then that would mean like we don't have a we don't have an official live 2D for Ren at the moment. We only have Nair PNG. Well, that's fine. I mean, you do, do what you do with the, whatever you got with. Yeah, By the way, also... God, I wish I had one. I really do. I want to commission someone to draw Alf Dean. Oh. Uh, draw who? Alfdeen is my shape. They are my changeling bard. Oh. Mishka, do not start. Do not. Do not, do not <laughs> I heard her. I fucking heard her. Do not start. You have been up my ass since two in the afternoon. You have been up in there and you won't get out. Stop. Nick? Hmm. That's I had to go early today. So, All literally, right. I got to leave work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. And, speak, and the reason for that is, my that is my reward, because on Wednesday, my D&D &D night, my, on Wednesday, oh, no. I have to stay late, and I'm like, <laughs> my D&D session starts at 6, and I'm at work. <gasps> oh, no. The, well, okay, but thankfully I, I had the foresight and so I did ask because like, can we start at an hour late? Right. And so did. But so like, okay, but I still need to get the fuck out of work and be home by seven so that I can make sure I can take care of Mishka and do all my other shit. Right. So, needless to say, Wednesday ended up just being a really like people are shit. I'm not gonna go into that now. I'll do it. No, Probably that's a mood. People are absolute shit, and they ruined my night. So instead of staying until seven, yeah. I said, "Fuck it, fuck all of you, get the fuck out." In a nice professional way, obviously. And right. The way I was like, "Okay, event's over. Good night. Have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get the fuck out of my goodbye." And I took my shit off, I locked all the doors, made sure no one came inside, and left. And then I remembered, I need to clock out. But thankfully, and I can say this on Twitch, because there's absolutely no fucking way anybody at work is any from... It, they're not gonna be on Twitch 1 and 2, they're not gonna know hey, how Apple. to find me, even if they were. So what did I, I say pop this on? But I have the privilege of being one of the very few active employees who has remote access to my punch clock. Right. So, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna leave at 6 so that I can get home in a decent amount of time and unwind from the night that was that event. And I did, and I got home in time, and at 7 o'clock, I punched out from home. Valid. So, but because I stayed two hours late... I got to offset that because they're like, you could take overtime or you can either come in two hours. You have three options. I could do overtime, come in two hours later on a day of my choosing, or leave two hours early. I was like, 
I'll take the two hours early, please. Hmm. And I'll do that on Friday. Okay, thanks. No, valid. So, um, I didn't... I did eat lunch. I just didn't clock out for a lunch. So... Right. Because I didn't clock out for lunch, I worked a straight six hours. And I still got off. Because I only, you know, I need 40 hours, so... Right. So, I was like, oh, that's fucking amazing. That's really good. And so... Ever since I got home, Mishka has decided, Mom, every two hours I'm going to work, <laughs> whine, and be a nuisance until you take me outside to pee. Like, bitch. Damn. I should not have unpaused at the time that I did. But I almost killed myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck oh. you, you goddamn three-tailed dragon! Get down here! <laughs> God damn, you good? No! Eat my stuff! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do apologize. My my quad ain't too good. I'm just using my headphone microphone. Oh, oh good. Wait, bro, did I show you what Alfine looks like? Um, I think you did. But also, like we, <laughs> I, I love how Apple is just like, what the hell did I just pop in on? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't, don't, worry, about it. don't worry about it. <laughs> Better you don't ask questions if you want to you keep your sanity. Don't worry about it. Shh, yeah, fine. I know. I will forewarn. I know that Ren is like. You ever have like those points to where it's like you are anticipating and looking forward to something that you are just Work BS. It's fine. in your fucking chair. That is Ren right yes. now in in my brain. <laughs> so if there's a point that Ren pops up, we might need a little bit just to like change uh, info and whatnot, but. I mean, we will still be fine. streaming this. It's perfectly also, fine. Flark, also, Star, are you two able three to see the top screen okay? Dragon with a magical spear. Yeah. Tom does not work BS. Then yes, I work BS. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> no, don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even started the fucking game and you're just the like... Tails. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'm going to take it. He has three tails. I'm going to strangle him with one and then bite and then tie his ass up with the other two and then watch him die. <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. If you have a magical spear, okay, cool, 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 fine, whatever. Dragon magic, cool. You have a magical spear. But you do not get to have a magical spear, do thunder damage, and zip around this tiny little stage with a. No. <laughs> okay. Kill him, the star. So and I will I'm gonna spew poison all over his ass, and he's gonna like it. <laughs> Before the even game starts. Like, we have been tangenting for like the past 10 minutes. <laughs> It don't matter. Go ahead and do what you want. People, people understand. They know what they get. They know what they signed up for when they came in here. <laughs> and if they didn't, well, clearly, with, with, clearly, especially with the title that I have for this damn <laughs> thing, I might change it if need be. <laughs> Clark, do you think I should change the title or no? Did I? Oh my God, dog. Change the title to what? I don't know. But do you think it needs to be changed? Do we really need to go down this road, bro? <laughs> Look, Twitch started it. You did actually poison his ass. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I... No context for that. Absolutely none. Uh, I, I'll be right yes. back. Duty no. couples. Uh, no, okay. No, 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 As no, 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 listen, come down. Come, come, come crawl around on my ass again. It's fine. Mishka! Oh. <laughs> Mishka, you're gonna get me killed? No, oh, bitch, I will rah, rah, fucking rah, 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 rah. This bitch is gonna get me fucking killed. She's trying to jump in my ass. Don't you wag your tail? Oh. Oh. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Why do you seem Damn. human tonight? Ra 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 ra. No. 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 Play no. time. Ra 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 ra. Oh my God, Mishka! Look at this! Look at this little asshole! 
Hold on. I had to calibrate the 3DS. I can't okay. look. Look at her. You can't look. Wait, um, Apple, are you not a fan of horror? No, you you can't look, Apple, because I'm not showing the thing. Oh. Oh, for seeing Mishka? Yes. Also, notice how she goes immediately quiet once the fucking camera's on. No, I on. meant don't. Yeah. <laughs> look at your look at her fucking face. Look at her fucking face. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, keep talking. You, you have an audience now. I can't right? look, look road in the face. Look road in the fucking face. <laughs> look in the face. Uh huh. Uh huh. So fucking thought. Watch me turn this camera off. You're gonna start up again. Yeah. <laughs> be like, oh no, I've been found out. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, sorry, Apple. Yeah, when, when I when I when I when I say look, it's usually for Discord. Uh, the the it, it's not for the it's not for chat. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not that easy for me to do a dog cam. Plus, uh, it doesn't help that the get the this cat. Ooh. It, it, it's still funny. You know you're not supposed to be up here. If you fucking try again, I'm trying to beat this dragon's ass. And so, God, Mishka, if I could reach on the phone, I will beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. I will beat you with the dragon. For context, this is a husky. One. <laughs> Two, I'm obviously not abusing her. Don't at me. Fuck you. And I say this for people who just like, Right. Okie okay, dokie. I mean, we all know I would I mean, I wouldn't hurt her, but I will threaten to hurt her all day. Right. Day. Of course it's a husky. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Mishka is an adorable husky. She's a mischievous little fuck, though. <laughs> yes, she is. Good fucking lord, where was I, dragon? Alrighty. I got I, Let, I can already tell. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here a while. This motherfucker's gonna take a while. <laughs> As if I'm not gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna try and get through this entire story in one stream, and if <laughs> done correctly, if done perfectly, this thing I is supposed to last four hours. <laughs> so I'm gonna be here for My a while. God. Mishka, really? Road is talking. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. I, I said I, I said basically that if done well and without any deaths, I've heard that the main story on this is like four hours. Knowing me, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. I love you, but we, we all know you be here Yeah, no, I am not the brightest. Not... Even Mishka knows. No. <laughs> Mishka's calling me out. No. You're gonna no. die, Yee Wee. No. Oh, no. hell yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, can you hear her? Uh, off and on. <laughs> Alright. So, normally, what? this would. What? So, what? normally, what? this what? bit what? here is going to. Sh <laughs> would normally show, like, the camera that show. that is. That that aims to the the user's face, but instead, well. I'm just gonna do this. Because what is that? What are you doing? Are you, did you just that's as take best a as I'm gonna. Yourself? That's as best as I'm gonna get. Nisha, yes. you, almost sna you almost bent my finger backwards. I hope it, you know that. And notice how it says, your face has been taken. Mm. Because one of the things with um, the, the story in this is that you gain the camera obscura with a book called the Book of Faces, which is a cursed memoir, hence the subtitle of the game. Oh. 
where yeah. if you don't uh, end the curse, you see, you'll it become wasn't the next the achievement victim. achievement of these cultural groups. Oh. It was those damn face snatchers. Hey, Tobias. I will forewarn. This is this is this AR is horror. The, this and is AR you're horror. A fucking brat. Aren't you, you little fucking shit? The story begins when you come into possess possession of an old camera called the Camera Obscura and a small book called the Diary of Faces. Ancient Face Snatchers Theory, LOL. <laughs> Your reality now begins to erode. <sighs> oh, sorry. I, okay, wrote, speaking okay, the timing the of that. Of, of spooky, I, I, I have something. Spooky from session. What first, you got? First, first and foremost, before we get into the spooky, I'm gonna get into the funny. Well, we do have like an a a uh, full motion cutscene going on. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm gonna shut up. It came to him. The diary of faces. They say there's nothing written. Again, just let me. I'm, I'm watching, but you know. Yeah. Just... Also, Don't those that are on Not stream, let me know if. I go Viking possibly. Also, <laughs> Brothers of Metal got new album dropped. What happened? By ye. Have a good one, Tobias. What I was going to say uh, before I got easy. interrupted by TTS. Um, let me know if you guys can hear the audio okay for this. Or if it's no. like too quiet, I can bump it up a bit. You must not look. Um, if you do. Let me see if it's on my end first, because I know I lowered the stream. Right. Oh, no, this is fully up and I don't hear audio. You do not hear audio? No, it could be too quiet. But I'm like, as far as like. All right, let me bump it up to max then. In story mode, your progress will be saved automatically. You can also press start at any time to open the pause menu and choose to quit the title screen. However, doing so will cause you to lose any unsafe progress. Okay. So we have a prologue. Okay. Does that sound okay? Is that loud enough? Yes. Okay. I, I can hear. And like I said, on my end, I also turned... <clears throat> I also turned the stream up on Discord, like okay. all the way. So yeah, I, I do have hear. the audio on my computer set kind of low, just so that I can also hear you guys. Oh no, I know. I trust me. I know. Like yesterday when I was streaming, um, chat didn't hear it, of course, but what? I had a fucking cacophony of music and sound going on in my headphone then and i was just like i just gotta block it out and dance just dance the music dance it all away dance the sound away because when i say like so i had music on for chat right but i you know obviously i turned off the <clears throat> excuse me sorry i turned off the game audio for chat so chat was only hearing me because you know i have a separate chat was only hearing right the music but the actual like, game audio was turned off so they couldn't hear it but i could hear both playing at the exact same time okie dokie so we do have the prologue here the Diary of Faces. It was just delivered in a package with no name. I thought it was a prank, but when I opened the package and took out the diary, the camera obscura let out a strange sound. It seemed to be reacting to the diary. <laughs> and you can see my keyboard. What's Damishka doing? Laying down in a ball, she gave up. Net. Okie dokie. The package also contained a scrap of paper 
Perhaps from the sender. It looked like a page torn from a notebook. It was titled, The Camera. The Camera Obscura. This mysterious device is said to allow its holder to see the supernatural, things that are not of this world. If this is true, what might happen if it were if it were used to view the diary of faces? Mm -hmm. Good question. I want to actually check a thing. Wait, no, that's. The scale. There we go. There we go. That should be. That should have hopefully helped the quality of the text a little bit, just because the resolution on this is not that great. <laughs> All right, the camera ups. Oh, wait, I already read all of this. Okay. You got the camera. View it under the records on the info screen. Okay. Take pictures, press L or R. You don't need to press both. Okay. Try taking a picture of whatever is in front of you. Well, what's in front of me is my own stuff. So, you know what? You're just going to <laughs> look at that flipping inception up in here. Look at that. Yay, nay, no reaction. Also, as in five minutes, as in five minutes. Now try photographing something in a well lit location. Okay. No, don't summon the demons. Unfortunately, we gotta summon the demons. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, someone in chat just went, No, don't summon the demons. I'm like, Unfortunately, we gotta. <laughs> no, sure, no. Yeah. I have to save a piggy. We'll try something in a better lit. But. Oh, no. Also, I just realized that I probably need to use my PNG because I'm going to be, like, turning around a lot. Fuck, let's do that. TDS uh, put some freaking emphasis, come on. <laughs> Let me turn off the spell capture. Let me turn on my PNG. There we go. That should be a bit better. And I'm probably going to have to stand up for this. This is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh. Be okay, now that you're doing this now. Yes. Would you like to hear a funny story and then horror story? It's from session for both things. Sure. Wow, we have like very, like very scary drumming. Sorry. So, we'll start with the funny first, which is kind of funny sad, but it's funny nonetheless. Sweet. Uh, not bittersweet. It's just, it's funny, but it, the, the event that caused it is kind of like, oh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So, um, hold on a minute. Mandarin, honey, sweetie pie, come here. Go in, go, go, go in mommy's lap. There, thank you. Anyway, uh, so, bro, I remember, remember I told you, what the, who was shooting at me? We don't shoot poison, that's not nice. I'm the only one that gets to shoot poison. Anyway. Found you. Uh, so, uh, Ro, do you remember what happened last session? I guess I'm pretty sure I told you about it. You told me, but I don't remember 100%. The nightmare portion of it. Like the... 
Um, give me a TL a TLDR. Okay, yeah. So D TLDR. <clears throat> TLDR. Uh, one of our one of the party members discovered a memory about that they had forgotten, and it was due to a mental enchantment and a physical enchantment that was caused by a specific entity. Said entity is a doppelganger slash imposter, and as the party was going home, said imposter was able to simultaneously give all three of us uh, carefully crafted and individualized nightmares, but at the exact same time. Uh, my my bard's nightmare specifically was they were trapped in a room uh, it, it, and there was a knock at the door and suddenly the door opens and it is them but it is their base like their birth form because changelings have birth forms and then there's the rest of the you know, the world they to show so uh, when the entity came it, but the it, not only was it just the birth form but it had seven eyes and almost like a puckered mouth <laughs> with sharp teeth and that when when it came in the first thing that it said was uh, we are the same <laughs> and it kept repeating it over and over and over and over and over again and so in the dream in the nightmare my character it, you know they beat them, they tore them apart, they cut them open, they attacked them, they did anything to get them to stop talking, and it would just keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. Right. <clears throat> Near the end of the nightmare, after it had been torn to pieces and its mouth cut off and everything, my bard was so done with it, and, you know, when you get to a point where you're just, like, tortured by something and you want it to stop. Right. Um, he, they made the mistake of saying, of asking it, who are you? And oh, then no. Yeah, it made the mistake of asking it, who are you? And when it did that, the creature reassembled its mouth, put it back on its mangled face, and then said, we are what you will become. And that is how my bard woke up. Ooh. Screaming, mind you. It was not a gentle thing. They woke up screaming. Now, mind you, uh, another TLDR. Basically, what happened was when this was revealed, what kind of entity it was, uh, me and, another, and the other party member knew what kind of creature it was. We knew what we were dealing with. And unfortunately, uh, changelings and doppelgangers, there is bad blood between them. They do not get along. They do not like each other. And it is because doppelgangers give changelings an even worse reputation. And people, I, I, because they don't... I, I'm what? sorry, but I want to say this super quick. Hey, y'all. Wiki feet. Wiki feet? Oh, oh my god. Well, it's dark and grainy. <laughs> It's not going on wiki feet, all right? <laughs> you would be surprised if people if, if people are that desperate, they'll take anything. Why would you want this? I'm just saying it the, in a lighthearted manner. I know, but it's like it's like, hey, wiki feet, let me get, let me give you my fucking feet. But also, Look. but yeah, anyway. So, uh, for con again, this is just for context. Chanting right, right. And doppelgangers. Do not get along. And Road, I'm sure you know that doppelgangers are essentially like boogeymen in the Feywilds. Yep, yep. They are not well liked in general, but changelings and bardlings have a bad reputation because, uh, for those who do not know, uh, doppelgangers are essentially changelings on fucking crack. They both have the same thing, like they can both change appearance and shape shift. However, a changeling is kind of. The condition with which they can shapeshift is they would have to have met whatever hey, Rose, it is. Like, I'm more tired than I thought I was going to be. You guys they, have must, fun. they can't just shapeshift into a dragonborn if they've never seen a fucking dragonborn in their life. Right. Also, all they good, can't... Apple. Thank you for sticking around as long as you did. You get some good rest. Yeah, but yeah, they can't just shapeshift as a, ah, dragonborn. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to change it anyways. No, you can't do that. A doppelganger, on the other hand, does not have that limitation. 
a doppelganger can change forms at will. And it doesn't need the requirement of, I need to see you before I can. No, it can just do it. Right. And that's what makes them so deadly. They can do that, and you will never... It is harder to find a doppelganger than it is to find a changeling. Like, as far as, like, telling them apart. But because changelings already don't have the greatest of reputations because of what they do, obviously, uh, imposters don't help that. They uh, they don't make that reputation any nicer, and so they don't like the association slash connotations. So doppelgangers and changelings, uh, they're not friends. <laughs> they're not that... cousins. They're not related. Uh, they hate each other. So obviously, my guy was already mad to begin with, finding out what it is that they were dealing with. But right. they don't like it when uh, people mess with the people they care about. Right, right, and, right, right. Uh, right. Okay, so like I said, this doppelganger has already uh, has been revealed, I should say. Mishka, get that? You were killing me in the game and both in real life, and I'm about to put you in the doghouse. But Get that on Get that get. on it. But, yeah. So, yeah. They, again, they, he's already, they were already mad when they found out what it was. Right. And then to boot... On top of finding out that what it was, you also just had this revelation of, uh, you hurt my friend. Someone I care very, very deeply for. Oh. So, yeah, this is already a bad blood of, like, we don't get along, we don't like each other, but also you just hurt a friend. Right. You didn't die. So, and then the nightmare made it worse, because now they're like, oh, well, shit's... So that was the context, and again, yes, that was the TDLR thing because I, I cut down so right, many events. Right, that, that, that was the short. That was the condensed. Yeah, that was the super condensed one, and it sounded long, but no, it's super condensed because there was so much that happened in between all that. I just gave you the, the direct <laughs> one. So again, we already have anger, we have fear because of what just happened, and then an overwhelming sense of dread and, and anxiety because again, they made the mistake of no. Granted, it was a nightmare, but knowing Faye to Faye, they should never. You never ask a Faye creature, "Who are you?" You do, there's certain questions you just don't ask the Faye. Right. Who are you is one of those questions. Um. So they're already shaken up. And what's worse is, it's like, they, they, they're just not having a good day. So, first thing they do when they get back after watching the party member that was affected uh, break down in the arms of their partner, uh, they're in a good mood. So, what do they do? Just like, anyway, this is what I said. This is the event. It's sad because of what the event that happened. Um, they right. end up going straight to the bar. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. And that's where the funny. So it's like the event that preceded it is sad because we know right. I know we we know why now they are there, but they they're not there to have a good time. They're there because they're pissed, they're angry, they're emotional. They're just not in a good headspace. So right, they went straight to the bar. Uh, cue the funny. They asked for the strongest bottle of alcohol possible. Oh and no. Yes, and they're like, what is the strongest thing you got? Now, mind you, they do drink. They don't not drink. But out of the party members, uh, the fairy is the one that is the drinker. And she right. will constantly get drunk and party with people because she's a hermit and she doesn't understand self-control. So she will just... <laughs> she will She will often drink into... A, she'll drink into excess. Damn. What did I come back to? Um, so, a big old story recap for one of Star's um, games. Yeah, so... Oh boy. Yeah, and then I mind you, again, they do drink and stuff. They don't not drink. They're not prude. But they usually don't go for the strongest shit they could find. And they just asked for the strongest shit they had. And it was described by the DM as... A combination of fireball whiskey and moonshine. <gasps> oh boy! Yeah. So it's like it's it's like it's like that'll put some hair on your chest. And I'm like, oh yeah. But this is the funny part. 
I I wrote my first roll of the night, and they're like Robocon save, nat twenty. So I got a twenty two. Damn. So I didn't. Im so I took a sip just to try it, but I did not immediately get drunk. <laughs> I'm. They're obviously like. Obviously, you are eventually going to get drunk because it's right, right. fucking strong as hell. But I, it wasn't immediate, so it's like you got to taste it, and they're like, "Hmm, yeah, I can see where this is going." All right. And right. then the bartender asked them, "Do you want a glass or do you want a bottle?" Hmm. And they say, "Give me the bottle." Net. Oh, hey, the dragon changed. The dragon did change. Ooh. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, speaking of dragons, <laughs> there was a dragon born in the bar with a, group of, so it, was a it was, it was a dragon born, a human and an elf that? who were also getting drunk. And he, they were like, so this is literally just a walk in a bar joke. <laughs> much, they're, like, they're like, Hey, I got a bottle of some good, strong shit. You're having a good time. I'm having a good time. We're all adventurers. Want to drink together? They said, fuck yeah, let's go. And they brought them in. And when the party found the bar, the bar was on a human woman's shoulder, half a bottle gone. The bottle was half empty. Half empty bottle in one hand, beer mug in the other, sitting on a buff woman's shoulder. They were fucking gone. Mind you, I rolled two cons eight. And the first one was yeah. the nat 20. The second was um an 18. And they're like, and I'm like, yeah, they're high cost to do it below. Like you could put it off, but you are you know, like this shit is strong. Like you are not not getting drunk. Right. So it just took a lot longer, but I yeah, my character got fucking trashed. So. Speaking of getting trashed, look at this. You no, know, I see, I see, I see what it is before me. Um. Oh. About the diary pulling me in. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this? Hold on. Have you tried plugging, unplugging it, and plugging it back in? You're fine. No, no you're yeah, good. Um, but yeah, so oh. here's where the even funnier part is. So we already know they're piss ass drunk. The the rest of the party, which is a fairy, an owlin who's turned into an owl bear, and her partner, which is an NPC Leonin. Okay. Leonin, however you say it. Yeah. So the three of them were like, oh. Well, that's not normal. That's not like them. What's 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 happening over there? So the fairy, you know, when you try to trick your friend into drinking water when they're drinking vodka by giving them water shots so they'll sober up a little. Yes. They bought an identical looking bottle, but it was filled with apple juice. Uh. And they went up to them and they're like, can I have some and swap the bottles? It. But then they were still drunk, so they're oh, like, "All on. right, no one's no one's like, I want to have a good time with my friends." So they jumped on. I I heard. There we go. A vase lies scattered on the floor. That must be what I heard. Oh, where are you at? And you're right in front of me. Sorry, I said come on because I saw a, a flicker of like. So I saw a like flicker of corruption and like the connection between the capture board and whatnot being iffy. So I got worried. I've been waiting. Good God. You know? What? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, also, Flark, thank you for the bits. Yes. No problem. Uh, 
<laughs> but yeah, I was gonna say the end of the She's after the there. bottle swap, the first thing my bard did was jump off the human woman's shoulder, jump down onto the table, and proceed to sing and dance while drunk. Damn. Yeah. But you know what was really funny is um so prior to this, I, I forgot to mention this. It's a small and significant detail, but it's kind of funny. Prior to this, they uh they they donned a, uh, a female presenting appearance. Okay. And uh, were, was wearing a dress and everything to match said appearance. Hmm. The nightmare spooked them so bad they changed back into their... Uh, I guess I, I call it a default form because that's the form they like the Where? most. Right. Am I? They're constantly shifting. Are you? So it for for them it's like the changing house? forms every day is literally just like as it's just the same as like wearing clothes. They like to change often. What? Why uh, are you here? Why are you a giant woman? Why are you a giant because, woman? <laughs> because she can't be <laughs> fuck you. I would I have to look at the my goddamn ceiling. Can you hear me? Good. She's jumping. If She's can, there. She look exists. This way. Shut up. You're not the one with the controls, bitch. No, I'm not, but you better shut the fuck up. I'd be grateful you have a giant woman in your house. <laughs> not many people want that, and you got her just sitting there in your house. Did you look? Did you open the door? Okay, that's where the voicing ends. You didn't? <laughs> Nobody expects you know the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> Soma Lily, thank you so much for the raid! Hold on, let me get you a shout out. What the? For those yeah, that are hopping in and don't know what we do around here, this is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream monster focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination. To help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. For a belated Halloween stream, we are doing Spirit Camera, the Cursed Memoir, which is an extension of the Fatal Frame series. If paranormal activity Boy, and things like that are not, not your forte, cheating. or you need, or you don't have spoons, so you need to like focus on yourself, feel free to step away, do what you need to. No one's gonna fault you or anything like that. Hi Zelda. Yeah, sorry, you were saying, Star. Oh yeah. Uh... The reason I mentioned it, and the reason I, I, it's relevant, obviously, is because, like I said, they were wearing femme presenting clothes. Oh, by the way, I sent you a picture if you can check your Discord or not. I don't know. Uh? Yeah. It's oh, in your wait, view. yeah, you've shown me them before. Okay, now yeah. I remember. So that is their base default form that they usually, when they're not changing into anything particular or specific, that is usually how you will find them. Right. So, again, this is relevant because prior to this, like I said, they were femme presenting in a dress and everything. So, so the shock of the nightmare sent them back into their default form. So imagine that in a dress, drunk, dancing on the table. <laughs> wait, wait, what? And uh, the... Fairy companion tried to shock my guy like back into you know like when you try to like shock someone into surprise like you say something yeah. so shocking they're like they forget they're drunk. You you scare them sober. Yeah, but she kind of, she kind of sort of succeed kind of sort of succeeded, um, because like I said, they kind of because they know the party is is full of fae that are right. mostly irresponsible and chaotic as hell. Uh, they try their absolute fucking best to give them money because they're like, we need to fucking live. And out of the three of the party members, they are the only one that's had like, uh, like experience traveling. Right. So they're like, yeah, you know, outside the Bay Wilds, they don't work that way. So well, we kind of need money out here when uh, you're a hermit and you're a bimbo. So one of us has to make money. So they're the, like the money person also right. again for those who don't know i specifically call the owl in a bimbo because that is explicit like that is exactly how it has been described by the player character who controls that character she is nah. considered a 
bimbo. So I'm not saying it in a disrespectful manner. I am literally calling it the way that the person playing them has said, has referred to them <laughs> before. <laughs> So, um, but it's, and when they, and not, and she's not a bimbo in like traditional bimbo sense. She's just like a bimbo in like the sense of like, um, she's very, she has the mental capacity of a five year old. Oh dear. Yeah. So it's like, she understands, uh, like how Tiny said, she knows that a tomato is a fruit, but she'll still try to put the tomato in a fruit salad. Excuse me. Which, what? Very sweet, and she's our cinnamon roll. We love her. <laughs> yeah, so like she'll understand certain things, but like again, to the capacity of like a five year old, so it's like she'll understand, but then it's like when she talks, it's like something like she calls vampires mosquitoes, and so mm -hmm. naturally, when someone hears her talking, they're like mosquitoes, which I is mean, referring to them as a, a vampire. I mean, they're they're not wrong. No, but that's where her, that's what I'm saying. Like that's how she, that's where she's at. Like she's not a she's not a she's not the sharpest tool in the box. But God, she really loves the thunderclap. Let <laughs> she really loves thunderclap. Anyway, uh, yeah. So the fairy tried to shock my poor little guy into uh, sobriety. Soberness, however, I don't know if you would, I guess sobriety would work. May I be able to join VC Road? Um, and then uh, um, Paula wants to know if he can join VC. Y'all cool with that? Uh, yeah, they can. Sure. Okay. If it's not Kala up, do let me know. Here we go. Oh, and this makes me realize I don't have uh, your PNG. That's okay. Oh. You doing good? Tired. I had a long stream. <laughs> yes, I had a long stream. Oh no. Oh man, but, I'm just. Uh... Oh yeah, God. how they were trying to sober them up. I'm sorry. The the reason I mentioned finances is because the fairy was like, "Hey, Alfie, I spent all our money," and they're like, "What?" Oh no! Oh no! I, they did it, but you know, it's like that you say it for the shock. Right. So she's like. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. It's like I spent all our money, and the way I described them doing was like they were dancing and singing, and all of a sudden, you know how the exorcists like they just like suddenly like bend backwards where their spines are practically almost breaking. Yes. They did that and looked her in the face and like you did what? But they're still drunk, so in doing that, they stopped dancing, lost their balance, and fell over backwards. Nah. And because they're <laughs> They ended up flashing someone as they fell. <laughs> nice. Yes. So, but no, no, the, I, I like the response. The fucking response was like when they fell over, the person who got flashed, you know, they did like the, the, like the whistle. Oh, the. Yes, the, the cat call whistle. Yeah. And since they were drunk and they were flat on their back, and when they fell, they're like, I'll come fuck you later. And they go, Wee. Damn. <laughs> Listen, they they were not aware of what was happening. Like, I'm sure they had some awareness, but I'm pretty sure most of it was like out the fucking window. Right. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> but, um, that was enough to freak out the Alan. And she like came over. She's like, "You okay?" And then he's like, "Oh, my feathery friend, you're here." And then the the owl's immediate reaction was like, "No, no, 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 no!" Pick them up, like like princess carried them out and just basically bolted out. 
and then immediately proceeded to shove them face first into cold snow. <laughs> so they got sober because they got sober. <laughs> Nice. Okay, well, imagine if you're in a dress in the cold in the middle of the night, it's freezing, and you get your face shoved straight into a, like, snowbank. Right. Dope. They, they, they that, that was the funny part. It was like, that's how they, that, that whole thing was just, be and again, it's sad how it happened, but I'm like, my poor baby needed some kind of outlet. He, they right. Need, they needed something. Unfortunately, they just chose a a, a a a not nice way to do it. They they would have. They weren't seriously injured, but like, oh god, that could have gone better. Right. Uh. Anyway, so that ended up happening, and then the rest of the campaign was, uh, the TDLR. My name uh, is entity from Maya. before. Proceeded to so haunt long. him the rest of the campaign. Hmm. Uh, because he failed his, they failed a sanity check, and that was enough to again. Oh, this no. thing is like, yeah. Because first of all, I knew something was gonna happen when the DM's like, "I need you to roll me a sanity check." I was like, "Huh?" I said, "Who?" Damn. <laughs> so uh, I. I got a 14. It wasn't a low roll, but that was enough to fail, apparently. Yeah, that must have been a high roll then. I do well. Well, again, think about it this way. This 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 entity was strong enough to inflict three different beings simultaneously with a catered nightmare for each one of them. This thing is not weak by any means. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, th this thing is not. This is not a weak entity they're dealing with. Oh, also, m the other thing, uh, it's not even on the same continent. But so this thing was this. This thing is just like it's not on the same continent, and it's that strong enough that it can affect again three people simultaneously while giving them tailored nightmares. Well, this is this is this is not this is not a oh I'm just a weak little bit no this thing's not a weak little bitch mm -mm. and um yeah the the way that the night ended was they were so filled with anxiety and dread that they went out into the cold alone to walk outside. You know, like when you just walk to try and clear your head? Mm hmm They went out to clear their head, and they're like, I need to go uh, train. And while they were outside training, they were greeted. They, I, I failed another roll, but the, the roll was significant because whatever was after them uh, spent the rest of the time you know like how in ghost stories you hear like the ghost the, the ghost will just like open the door or it'll just do certain things to fuck with people yeah it was doing that it opened the door to the training ground but didn't make a sound and it wasn't there there was no one there when the door opened they called out in three different languages and there was no response right. so hey. they were like okay it's I'm obviously tired. I'm just gonna go back. Hey, uh, things. So as they go through, it's pitch black in the training ground hall. So you can't see. So they cast dancing lights so they can at least attempt to see. And as they were walking out, a plate broke. They're like, okay, it's probably hey. just, you know, we're outside. Reacher. Star. I I understand that this is a really good point. However, we know that I'm not all that good with games. This is going to take a minimum of four hours if I do this well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll shush. No, you you're know. good. I want to hear more of it, but right now is not a good time if I want to try and I'm sorry. if I want to try and stop stream before sunrise. <laughs> before sunrise. Jesus Christ! It's not gonna take that long. 
Oh, I don't have much wrong. confidence in myself. <laughs> no, 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 I just realized the time. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. No, oh my god, okay. I'm doing this I too like, late. I seriously love and enjoy that you are having fun. I want to hear more of the story. I want to hear more about your character. But given the time constraints for tonight, I don't think right now is quite the time. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Hey, I don't mean, I don't apologize. <laughs> I I offered it first. I know you're excited. I don't want you to feel bad because I didn't realize how much info this was actually going to be. I didn't. I wasn't planning on giving that much info. I really was. No, I get it. ADHD yapper. I get it. <laughs> Because your brain go in spider webs and goes, oh, but this thing, but this relates relates and to this thing, which relates to that I'm thing. I'm consolidating a humongous amount of this. Oh yeah, no, I I feel like been there, done that, burn the burn the t-shirt, Chica. Oh, I know. Hey, mm -hmm. you're good, Estesian. Mishka, don't don't don't. Eh. Mishka, get oh. her, comfort her, get her. Yep. She's trying to get in my lap, so I grabbed her by the neck, and it looks like I—it looks like her face is floating. <laughs> Mishka, right. suck him. No, I did that. Say, suck him. Man, crazy. Uh huh. All right. Fucking little is, shit. My name is Maya. I've been trapped in that house for so long, and you are no longer giant woman. So very long. Then you appeared, and now I'm here. She is long, woman. Behind that door is the woman in black. She brings people into that house, imprisons them, and takes their faces. So basically, the woman in black could take a few notes from the Dark Lord from Utopia. Are you really doing this again? <laughs> All right, after looking at the first page in a diary, I had some sort of vision. I was inside an old, dark house. When I came to, there was a girl with me. She said her name was Maya. She'd been trapped in the house, imprisoned by a woman who lives there. A woman in black. She brings people to that house and steals their faces. Why is there always a woman in black? Also, hold on, let me boost my mic a little bit since I'm going to be sauntering around. Me said don't do the it. Only one. There are others inside the house. Don't do it. Don't 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 oh my god. <laughs> I'm just one of her prisoners. I don't know why I was taken. I don't remember anything. I know my name is Maya. No, I'm scared of that house. I've been running away from the woman in black for so long. Are you trapped in the house too? Why were you there? Oh, we got someone after us. Did you hear that? This is an interesting, uh... What's up? I was saying, this is an interesting premise of a game where you control the uh, literal camera via your own camera. Yep. It was a man's voice. Up to Maya. Where did it come from? Find the diary page that responds to the camera. Probably this guy. Oh, it's because I have the the brightness too high. Wait, the brightness matters? Sometimes it does. It depends on... Mishka! <laughs> it depends on what? I'm sorry? It depends on a few factors from... Like, the brightness... Because uh, originally this is supposed to be a an actual book. You can't really... Can you hear? Okay. I could have sworn it's this page. <laughs> there we go. It's the diary. She faces. really wants to make it. If it's not Where mommy talking, she's like, one of us is going to talk. The voice must have come from the diary. Woo! Oh, OK. 
Okay. There we go. Come on. Oh, bye. And you know okay. what? I'm actually going to bump up the brightness just a little bit. Because that might help it be more stable. Yep. Where are you at, motherfucker? Oh, he was there for like half a second. Well, no, he's going to be blowing around now. <laughs> yes. Oh, there he is. Oh, shush. Oh, Go away. Come, come. Oh, the audio just got louder. Yeah. That's always great. Let you out? Really? That That's all you gotta say. Use the camera to battle evil spirits. That's all he wants. He's a to man of simple it, means. That he is. To defeat a spirit, you first need to capture it in the circle that appears in the center of the upper screen. Watch the flashing detection guide on either side of the circle to determine the direction of the spirit. Once you've located the spirit, capture it within the circle. You successfully captured a spirit within the circle. After capturing a spirit within the circle, the circle will turn yellow. If you take a photo at this point, it will damage the spirit. In battle, spirits will turn toward you and attack. To block the spirit's attacks, photograph it when the circle flashes red. This is called a shutter chance. If you miss your shutter chance, you won't block the attack and you will take damage. Wait for the shutter chance, then take a picture. Take that, motherfucker. Take a photo during the shutter chance. There's also a charge meter on the edge of the circle. Keep the spirit within the circle to charge up the spirit power. The more spirit power you charge up, the more damage you inflict when you photograph the spirit. Try charging up spirit power and taking a photo during a shutter chance to attack the spirit. Pokemon, but we go. Evil ghosts exercise a mall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if you want out, why do you why do you keep coming up to me, motherfucker? Because you want you to let him out in your body. How about no? I already have like 50 other fuckers in my body and head as is. Yeah, I don't need another. <laughs> yeah, what you for? Oh shit. Listen, this one just wants out. He's a simple man. He'll be a very simple headmate. He wants out. That's all he wants. <laughs> He's gone. Is that the power of your camera? Did he escape the house like we did? Or was he chasing us? That man was one of the others trapped in the diary. Everyone who comes in contact with it becomes imprisoned in that house. Doomed to wander until they lose their minds and... Hey, what's that? It looks like a note. The man's memo. Story time! Let's learn this man's yes, secrets. Sorry. Oh. Yas, Queen! Let's get that gossip! Give me the tea! <laughs> But my sister vanished. Oh, hell yeah. I want popcorn. I'm hungry. Flora, give me popcorn. I'm sorry, I'm all out of popcorn. Well, then you shouldn't have mentioned it. Go get me some. Go produce some. I'm probably just too late. It's too dark outside. Oh, wait Damn. a minute. Carly, you're magic food, man. Give me popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because you produce magic burgers! Now give me popcorn. So you're- so you're going to induce this man into a forced labor for your own food? No, it's a request. I don't even have popcorn. Well, that's why you're magic. Go produce some, please. 
<laughs> Is this payback because I wasn't using all my attacks? Yes. <laughs> Damn! Sitting there watching you, Oonga Boonga, you knew it! What, Sorry, did I hear fucking Oonga Boonga? <laughs> yes! Cal has this all powerful access to magic and all these other cool fanciful stuff, and they just. I've been using it like you. <laughs> when my sister vanished, I found a bunch of purple flowers and a diary with a purple cover, just like the urban legend. And like in the legend, my sister never returned. I didn't believe what she'd been telling me. The diary is the only lead I have. Even if its curse turns out to be true, what choice do I have? I don't believe the urban legend, but if I should disappear, I pray that someone finds my sister. Kaito Hasebe. Got the man's memo? Okay. Oh, now I'm looking for Maya again, I assume. Where are you at, girly? There you are. I remember- Actually, Star, do you want a voice her? Uh, yes, hold on. I, I kind of... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember something I heard in the house. Something about the Diary of Faces. Those cursed by it become trapped in that house. They can never escape the woman in black. He was cursed by the diary. He was cursed by the diary. He was searching, he for, was his searching for his sister and then... And then... Oh, wait, is she talking? There were there are some points where they have voicing, some points, but most points they don't. Oh, okay. I was confused. I was like, huh? Okay, Kaito Hasebe, a man in search of his missing sister. He investigated the diary of faces in hopes of finding her. What did he discover? What was he trying to tell us? He went after his sister and became trapped in a diary. What terrible fate did he suffer? I can still send- oh, that's Maya. Yee. I can still sense his presence. I think he's been pulled back into the diary. But he may have left something behind. But he may have left something behind. He was studying the diary. Only we knew what he discovered. His documents, photos, where can we find them? Find the diary right page there, that interrupts. Pretty picture book. Did this come with? Like you said, was this supposed to come with an actual physical book? Yes. So if you had a proper, like, when you have a proper physical copy with this, um, it does come with a physical book that is the AR book. But I have this set as images that I've saved. Just because with the backlighting of having a modern tablet, it makes it so much more readable uh, for the 3DS's older cameras. That makes sense. Otherwise, you need to have immaculate lighting for it to work. A scrap of paper. My sister vanished, leaving only the diary of faces behind. Since investigating this diary, I've started seeing hallucinations, just like my sister said she had before disappearing. Hallucinations that take me inside a house. Whose bloody handprint is on the photo of that door? I push the door open every night, hoping the blood isn't my sister's. I put my hand over that bloody handprint every night. Every night, I push open the door and go inside. I keep hoping to find my sister on the other side of the door. The door in that photo. Is that how we return to the house? Find Maya. That camera. It's the camera obscura. It lets you see the supernatural. Okay, this is okay. not voiced. Yeah, that's why I was waiting to see if she would talk or not. Its power allowed you to dispel Kaito's evil spirit. Spell the evil, though? 
More tormented than anything, I think. Yeah, I would say more tormented, yeah. I think that camera is what allowed us to leave the house. If you use it to view the diary, maybe we can discover its secrets. Maybe it can tell us why we were able to escape the house. I wonder, Living is this just chronological? Yes, this is just chronological. Oh! Is that Kaito's sister or is that Kaito? That's Kaito. Yo! Like he wants us to follow him. Like he's trying to show us something. Oh wait, no, this is Maya. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, there must be something beyond that door. Something hidden deep inside the house. Let's follow him. Yeah, let's just go into a pocket dimension. When the two circles are aligned and they light up, some kind of action is required. To follow the man through the door, you need a way to open it. Think about what Maya told you, or check the info that you've collected to figure out how to open the door. Okay. How do we think we need to open the door? That? Okay, I was thinking that it would want, like, an actual hand. Let's check our menu. Okay, so... Since investigating this diary, I've started seeing hallucinations. Okay. Clue's bloody handprint is on the photo at that door. I put my hand on the bloody handprint every night. Yeah, but what can we have that can go over the hand? It's, it's not taking your hand hand? No. Or I need to get closer. That was it! It wanted my actual hand! That's why I was like, try your hand hand! Thank you for the follow! No, back, Kato. I don't want your hand. Don't touch me. Where are you at? Oh! 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 That's not working. Huh. Oh, you wanted me to face you by where your palm faces. Which way are you facing now? Wonderful thing of modern technology. You can turn things around. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit freaked out Cause the hand is grabbing mine Go. 
Also, let me double check to see who it just followed. Dark Frame, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Isn't that an ironic name? Oh, absolutely. We are one follower away from 400, My by the way. You. Smiley face. Awesome! Oh, nice! Glad we got some folks from Bluey's community. Also, yes, we are 21 followers then away from 420. Let's see if we can get to that before the end of the year. We got two months. These hands that tried uh, to protect the diary, were they a manifestation of Kaito's will? Or were they sent by the woman in black? I defeated the hands and went through the door. My vision started to spin. I closed my eyes. When the sensation passed, I opened them. Shoot! So does this mean that those that are trapped in a dimension are just stuck in agony because they don't have faces? I oh. wish to scream, but I... I... I have, I have no mouth, but I must. Scream. There's our woman in black. I have no face, they say. Sir, I'm pretty sure that I saw eyes in there. Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's find. Maya. That's a fun little picture for a keepsake. Her? Oh, sorry. Which means he's... <laughs> okay. <sighs> Where'd he go? Yes. Oh, of course he's on the flag. Are you fucking oh, kidding? Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Does that he has a around his neck. This dude has the face shape of fucking David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know that we love our queer icons coming from the grave, but this is not how I am. This is not. My brain cannot even word right now. You, I was like, you couldn't even form sentences. You gotta fucking. I am focusing. Is that what you wanna call it? What? If someone modded this game to where it wasn't Kaito, but fucking David Bowie. Specifically from his role as the Goblin King in fucking Labyrinth. Yes, the one that everyone wants to fuck, the Goblin King. Oh, that was too soon. He said fuck you in your David Bowie. This dude wishes he was David Bowie. Motherfucker, give me them hands. Nice. Kill them. When Kai Oh, when Kaito's evil spirit uh, vanished, his voice ran through the camera. My face burns. I'm disappearing. 
Forgetting everything. I can't see. I can't escape. At least she... Shio. I captured Kaito's English. anguish. Gotta find Aya again. Where are you at, girly? Wherever she fucking wants to be. I heard it too. Okay, so you didn't talk. Okay. He's gone. His face was taken. Yeah, he tried to say something. There's something there where he disappeared. Kaito's notebook. The diary of faces. Oh, Let's look at this. Oh, Michika? No. <gasps> oh, baby! Cool. How's Mandarin He's... been doing? He's very chunky because he just ate five whole superworms tonight for the Damn. first time ever. He he ate good tonight. Oh, uh, this Mishka. Yeah. Yes. No, you little shit. You had your moment. That... <laughs> the diary of faces. My sister came to me and told me she was scared, but I didn't take her seriously. Those who see writing appear on the first page of the diary, the one with nothing on it, vanish. Their bodies are later discovered with no eyes or mouth, their faces taken. Since my sister disappeared, I haven't heard anything about an unidentified body turning up. Maybe I still have time. Even at the end, he is thinking of his sister. I think that's what he tried to tell us. Okay, now I got that song stuck in my head. I sensed an energy within the diary. It's her, the woman in black. What song, Clark? From Madagascar. I like to move it, move it. No, 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 not that one. Damn. The second Madagascar, Madagascar movie. The oh. moment star said chunk. Oh. Chunk. I like the like big, that one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my the page God. with nothing on it, where her words appear. <laughs> that memory of saying that. Fuck you, now all I hear is I like a big. <laughs> I, I, I love, slight tangent, I, I love how the, the dub said I see you when the text this would be a better point to say never, uh, like, have the text for never escape. Because no the Japanese text that was up here said Mo Nigasara Nai, literally meaning, like, this is inescapable. Oh. Wait, how the heck did he get. Wait. He did a picture of himself. Yeah, I had to take a picture of my face. Oh. But I didn't do my face, I used, I used uh, my rep sheet. Because I didn't want to dox oh. myself. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, what did you expect? What did you expect? I was confused, to... okay? I, I love how the proportions, though, like, I, my eyes are fine, but it looks like it's fucking up my goatee. <laughs> thinks your goatee is a mouth? It thinks my goatee is a mouth. Well, apparently Mimic, a, apparently Mimic Road, Mimic Road confirmed, Mimic Road's mouth is just the chin. <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. The camera obscura helped us escape the house. And because of that, we've managed to learn some things about the curse. Let's review what we've discovered. There may be something that will help us escape our fate. Yes, Maya. Go get in my bed. <laughs> we, we've got Kaito's information, my memories. Is there anything you want to ask me? Can actually talk to you. Okay. What do we want to ask first? Our options are Maya, Kaito, the curse, or nothing. I guess herself. 
Me? I'm sorry, but I just can't remember. You said you had memories, girl. I don't know why I was trapped in that house so for how long. I may have been there for a very long time, I just can't remember. It was so dark and so terrifying. It was always... I was always running, hiding. That's all I remember. I'm sorry. Kaito was Anything investigating Kaito. the diary. He was trying to find his missing sister. She was trapped in the diary. Kaito's search made him a prisoner, too. We don't know why his sister had the diary. But in that but in the note he left behind and in his last words he mentioned his sister. She's trapped in the diary. He wants someone to save her. That's what he tried to tell us. The curse the you curse? Know there. To be pulled into the diary and have your face taken. The one whose face has Faces have been taken, carry her darkness inside them. It consumes them from the inside, and when there's nothing left, the darkness bursts free from their eyes, from their mouths, transforming them. No longer human, they become evil, vengeful spirits, like Kaito. If his notes are accurate, all that's left of him now is a faceless corpse. To escape that same fate, we have to find a way to break the curse. A way to escape the diary. Well, that was the last. There must be something we can do. How can we stop her from catching us and taking our faces? All right, our three options to guess how we can break the curse. Do we investigate the house? Use the camera obscura, or investigate the diary of faces. Uh, I mean, all of these kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. But which do we prioritize? I would probably say the diary of faces, just because that's kind of our biggest lead. Yay, nay. Up to you. Okay. Yep, up there to you. There are pages in the Diary of Faces we haven't looked at yet. Oh, looks like we got ads going. Ads. How are folks liking this so far? I know we tangented for a good bit. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'm saying that as like a funny. No, I know. I just... <laughs> Do we need headpats for the star? I just felt that, like, I got so... Pa I get passionate, and I'm like, oh, no, I get hey, passionate. Wrong. And then I'm like, I need to shut up because I'm passionate. Hey, nothing wrong. I have definitely had moments like that as well, and I also have had similar share of experiences where people go, hey, I I'm sorry, but now may not be a good time. And I've also had times where people are a lot more meaner about it and going oh you talk too much i i hope that i'm not coming off like the ladder yeah i've had a lot of people tell me the latter more than the than the than the former uh, yeah so it's like mm -hmm. he no i'm i am not against it or anything at all it's just timing believe me if this were like a casual point to where we were just like if i was just casually playing this on like my own time i would be more than fine to hear you tangent to like flipping sunrise mishka what for you sir Lou? all right looks like ads are done Dark new line. All right, they might contain information about the other trapped in the house. There may also be clues about how to mm. escape the curse. 
Talk. Or let me reiterate. I don't want you to talk. <laughs> You're too scared to let her talk. I'm not scared. It's just like I've been dealing with this since two in the afternoon. Yeah. So, so you're an ADHD yapper. She's just taking after her mama. No, she better fucking not. Don't sniff my hand that's about to smack you in the ass. Don't sniff at it. Our new line. <laughs> we may discover why we were trapped in the diary. Motherfucking Mishka, look at you. First you got me in trouble with the dragon. Now you got me doing just... And if we're lucky, we'll be able to... We'll find a way to escape it as well. Maybe I'm gonna rub your face now. To unlock my lost memories. I'm going to rub your face. There's a strange sound coming from the camera. And the lens. It's glowing. It's glowing. That was my Oh! It... The seal to the purple mirror lens has been broken. Use this lens to uncover more, mi more mysteries within the diary. Okay, she's not sorry. The purple mirror lens must be connected to the diary of faces. It may help us find previously hidden clues. Or maybe things concealed within the memories of the person's... Uh, there may be things concealed within the memories of the diary's prisoners. Information about the woman in black, why she takes people's faces. It may be dangerous, but what choice do we have? We need to search the diary for clues. We have to escape the curse. All right. A photo of me with my face taken rose up from the pages of a diary. There's a message in the notebook that was left behind by, by Kaito. Those who are pulled into the diary are eventually found with neither mouths nor eyes. Can a way to escape the curse be found within the pages of a diary? Why do you keep moving? Because she can. Why are you judging? <laughs> fuck you! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Line. Star. Mm -hmm. I was dealing with Mishka. <laughs> <laughs> We need to investigate the diary before the woman in black finds us. We now have the purple mirror lens. It might help us discover things on pages that told us nothing before. Where should we start? <laughs> no, thank you. Play. I don't Did you wanna. Hear that? Like a child. Oh no, we it got the child, we got the fire. mischievous little we got the mischievous boy spirit trope. Find his page. Rot -ro -ruggy. I know exactly where you are. <sighs> Purple mist is covering the photo of the boy with his face crumbled out. It's like the mist is sealing the photo away. We need to get rid of it. Aha! Oh! Okay, that's pretty though. Yeah, in a way. But the vines have ensnared the boy in the photo. Once a special lens has been used, the camera automatically reverts to the zero lens. The zero lens is the only lens that can ch that can charge spirit power in battle. <laughs> the vines covering the photo vanished. 
It looks like the seal's been broken. <laughs> Go away. Shoot. No, fuck you. Come at me, you shit. Come oh, play oh. with me. If you win, you get a prize. If you lose, you have to stay. You can't escape. I'm waiting for you. Alright. You captured the Lost Boys invitation. Access it under voices on the info screen. He said, let's play. If you win, you get a prize. If you lose, you have to stay. Come on. Let's play. Where are you at? Really? Your page again? He didn't never left the page. Now he did. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. If you can't find me, you'll have to play with me forever. I am in a hole. In a place by another guy's face. So we have to find what page he's in. I'm in a hole next to a guy's face. Please let this one be it. Okay, good. Next one. Was it hard to figure out that I meant a hole in a picture? Gosh. Not, child. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Where is a page with stars? Are you ready? You, you. Well, no, I'm holding this out of the way. You know what? I think I know the page. Because this is empty. Watch, this is going to be my first death. So we're looking for stars, or maybe oh, we're not? Wait. Oh, no. Sorry? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Who wants to voice the boy here and be an imp? imp <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Flora, you've been cast. You found me again. I guess you're pretty good. Did the moon help you find me? Your next clue will be way harder! Take ready? note, the perfect place to read me is in bed. What am I? A book? Well, hold on. Next. The perfect place to read me is in bed. So is there a page here? I'm not seeing... Wait a minute. This is gonna be a shot in the dark, but take notes. Music notes? They said the perfect place to read me is in bed. Take note and read me in bed. Does he mean a note you read in bed? Yeah, but I wouldn't read music notes in bed. Because I'm not seeing any pictures here that depict any kind of bed. Or a book? Book. Wait, 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 wait. Because they asked, what are, what am I, so... Oh, no, it is. It won't connect unless I find it. So we can just... Oh, 
it's a nursery rhyme. No. Okay. Not that one. That was a red herring. Yeah, maybe it's, a... maybe it's a different type of note. A lullaby! It's a lullaby! Why would you read a lullaby in bed? Do you sing a lullaby? The answer is sheet music because you read music and you've got sheets on your bed. I wish I knew how to play the piano, but I'd rather play more hide and seek. To some, I am lucky. For others, I am not. Here's Cross a reminder for Rode that he's amazing. Cross paths Wonderful, with me and find out what's lovely, what. Handsome, extremely cute, loved and oh, appreciated. Oh, I was nominated to, to read the boys' lines. But I'm sorry. Go. All right, let's try and look through the pages again. Crossing paths, fuck. <laughs> Glad I caught that somewhat quick. Big ol' surprise! Cross paths, but that's exactly what we're trying to do. Need a, a page related to crossing paths. No. Oh, that was it! That I was lucky! It. You must be as superstitious as me! Back cuts are sounded like good luck in some cultures. Well, I guess a promise is a promise. I have a prize for you. Come back and play with me again sometime. I won't lose next time. Ha ha ha! Prizes. Death. Start. Start. Stars muted. Star has been muted. Um. That looks like you get a read, Road. All right. Is he trying to lure us into the diary? He may be trying to tell us something. There's something glowing next to the diary. If you win, you get a prize. Must be it. A brooch. With a picture brooch. and such. Brooch. It has. It is two O's. Brooch. Fuck English. That, that is how you pronounce brooch, not brooch. Star lives. I, I love how what brings you out of mute is to be like, actually, it's pronounced this way. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking bro. Look, first of all, that's a thing a woman uses, so I know how to pronounce it. And, and I, I was, I cringed when I heard you say brooch. It's about as two O's. It's a lot of words in English that Star have two O's. Is right. I know you guys are right. I'm just being a pedantic little shit, especially as the one who it's, it's has a degree in apple. linguistics and had to study the bullshit that is English. That's why I'm confused why the linguistics major is sitting here going, Brooch? I, I think somebody needs to relearn language again. No, English needs to get its fucking act together. <laughs> You need to get your act together. Anyway, I am muted because my partner called. Ah. Uh, and uh, I shit. am upset. Me. Everything okay? Well, they've been awake for 16 hours. Ah. Uh. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you've been awake for 16 hours? And they're like, well... Why Between work stress and anxieties and all this other stuff, they haven't slept for 16 hours. Damn. So, yeah, he's, he's 
been awake for 16 hours and I'm just right. like, go the fuck to sleep. I can't love you, but please go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> a boy appeared out of the diary and challenged us to a game of hide and seek. He gave us a prize for beating him. A brooch containing a picture of Maya. Why did he have it? By going after the boy, perhaps Maya can recover her lost memories. Okay, I I just can't remember. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, if I can regain my memory, I'll know how I became trapped in the diary. Mishka, oh my god, please! <laughs> <laughs> Mishka, sick of- There must be some clues to help us. I need to find out about me. Who am I? Why was I imprisoned? How long was I trapped in that house? I need to know. I'm... Yep, please, we have to find that boy. Where did he go? Why do we need to find the and boy? Here. The boy can go fuck off. He's in the, the brooch. Is vibrating. <laughs> I think it's reacting to the boy's voice. Maybe you can tell us where he is. Nishka, the boy's that... words. Oh my god! What? Why? <laughs> Do you not be tired of this all day? Sick of Nishka. Get him, Nishka. I was gonna say, would say, try. I want to try that name again. Where are you? Don't. Uh -huh. do, not, do not start. Do not start. Do uh -huh. not. No. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm touching your ass. I'm touching your ass. I'm touching your ass. I know how much you ate. I'm going to touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it when I touch your ass, do you? I don't like it when you fuck in my ear. Uh, okay. Let's talk on one of the characters. Oh, uh, is, it, is it going to say behind you? Yep, Uchida means behind. This boy trying to tell us where he is. We're behind you. You are. Hi, you little shit. Peekaboo? Yep, the detection guide won't work on invisible spirits. Use the lamp in the middle of the top screen to find invisible spirits. When an invisible spirit is nearby, the lamp glows red. The closer you are, the brighter the lamp gets. In front. Rats. Have you stand right in front of my chair? Are the children in the Fatal Frame series have this, this like. Oh. Hello. Any light? Okay, Maya also helps. Left. Left. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, 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 just a normal kill. That's okay. And Maya is now in front of my computer. <laughs> sure. Like a ball. Are you alright? The boy ran away. 
He's trapped in the house, so be careful. And for... There we go. Yes, Maya, I think we've established that every motherfucker we come across tonight has been trapped in the damn house. Maya? Or Star? If you lose his game, he may take you back with him. What's that on the floor? Where did it come from? Did the boy drop it? The torn piece of paper. You want to read this, Flark? Mm. There's a house in the book. Dark Lady found me. She's my big sister now. I was all alone, but now I have someone to play with. That's pretty neat. That's scary, though. If I, if you run away, you have to lose your face. There are lots of, pe of other people. But they all lost their faces. Oh, that wearing a mask will help me heat my face. I mean, sound logic, but... My I'll... name is Koji. Please take take me with you. Sound logic, but... I mean, it's just sound child logic. Like, if I get where he's coming from, like, yes, if I do this, then this will occur. Right. Also, oh shit, we're just 1k away from Orphan Holidays getting an extra week. I just realized that. A torn piece of paper. Dark lady. He must mean the woman in black. Line. Uh, he's been trapped in the house with her for so long. It would that he latched onto her because he was so lonely. He knows he can't run away. If he does, she'll take his face. It's so sad. More lines. It might it might be dangerous. Uh, but if we play with him some more, we might learn, uh, something new. Let's find him. Find me. Take me with you. Uh, find... Oh, that's Koji. That's, that's Koji. Not me. This is you. Yeah. He's hiding somewhere. Hiding his face behind that mask. Maya, move. Really? Let's play a new game. What you get if you win this time? Let's see. I know. I'll tell you a secret. A secret about the dark lady. Do you think you can find me if I hide in one of these four masks? Which mask will I be behind? It'll be the one I took at last. I look at last. It'll be the one that I look at last. Over here. Over here. Here I am. You better watch close. Oh, that's easy. Boy. Come on. Are you ready? You found me. You won't find me again. This time's for real. <laughs> More than one mess might look around. Here I okay. am. You better watch close. I see it's blue. I say it's blue. Yep. I'm blue a deep Oh, fair. Let's play one more time. 
want to hide One now. One more time. I'm gonna move real fast this time. So watch guys. If you lose, you got. You have to play with me forever. Watch. This is gonna be the first death. Yourself, damn it. Oh, yeah, you better watch clips. I'm saying it for shits. Oh, shit. Blue. I guess I lost. Are you ready to hear a secret? Come closer. I need to tell you. For the Dark Lady finds us. Damn it. We're gonna have another battle with you, aren't we? You are. Nope! Escape. He led her to us. There's nowhere to hide from me. Right when the ads are going. Damn! Also, I love how now Maya is just in this perfect nook. Well, roughly. Hi, Road and that Friends. The woman in black. Hello! How's it going? Golly, hope you've been doing well. I know they just, oh, shit. uh... Oh, shit. Uh, they just visited, uh, Torma. Yeah. Well. Well, playing with I'm gonna toy. have to get going, Road. Ah, uh, okay. You, you know the reason. Yeah, you get good sleep. No, it's, that's not that reason. Remember what? Derp, yeah. You have fun. I yeah. I have plans. Yeah. Depending on how long that you do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. have a good one. You too. See y'all. See you. Bye. Bye, Maya. Bye. 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 We have to help him. Oh. oh, we just have a big ol' Okiku doll. No, boy, his face. Line. Yeah, the woman in black used us to find the boy. She took his face. He's gonna end up like Kaito. Just a vengeful spirit. Do you understand what will happen the next time we see him? Uh, you know, the fact that he's dead and the mask actually prevented My her from stealing his face is incredible. Right. He upgraded and now I'm running a dual PC setup. Damn, Jolly, you're lucky. Hmm? Uh, Jolly just said in chat, My brother gave me his, uh, his PC because he upgraded and now I'm running the dual PC setup. Nice. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okie dokie. The black Koji's face was stolen. He left behind information about the woman in black. He brings people into the house and takes the face of anyone who tries to escape. Like Kaito and Koji did. <laughs> Zoma! No the Spanish Inquisition. Thank Did you so much raid? for the raid! Yes! We just got a raid from Gold Zoma. Raid. Golden Raid, indeed! Hold on. Let me be sure that I get a shout-out written for you proper. There we go. For those that are hopping in and don't know what we do around here, this is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I have a dream much of focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination. 
to help create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. We are one follower away from 400. We are 1k away from an extra week for our winter orphan holidays event. And for a belated Halloween, we are playing Spirit Game with the Cursed Memoir on the Nintendo 3DS. Obviously, with this game, it does relate to a lot of paranormal themes. If that is not your cup of tea, you are more than open to prioritize yourself. Step away, get a drink, whatever you need to. If any of this is of interest to you, though, please feel free to stick around. I would very much appreciate the company. All right, Star? Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, give me just one second here. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where he is now. What did he want from us? What was he trying to tell us? Take me with you. It's him again. He's still trying to tell us something. <laughs> I wonder if there's a page in the diary we can check. Huh? Camera three accents in the diary. Must be Koji's spirit. Okay. When you view the page with the crumpled drawing... Oh. Oh. Why is the text corrupted? The dark... Or is it squished on purpose? The dark lady is waiting, but not just for anyone. And not for me. So I'm... So I'm leaving. I don't need a big sister uh, who is nothing but scary. Star, line. His voice. It sounds like it's being crushed. Probably because his face is stolen. Yeah. I can't understand him. His voice is all distorted, like the drawing. But the irony that I was still able to read that, though. Like, it was squished to hell, but... Also, Munkle, hold on. Let me do the it's... headpad since I gotta do it manually since I'm using my PNG. I shall do... There we go. And let me be sure that... There we go. Face. <laughs> oh. The picture started moving, and that's his voice. What's he saying? Ha, 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 ha. He's somewhere I in that drawing. Can we fix work. it somehow? There's an odd blank space on one side. It's like the drawing is crumpled up. Pretty surprised to see this game being face. played again. I face. played it face. long time ago. Face. Face. What? Face. At Monkey Snunkle, how could face. you? Face. To return Monster. the piece to normal, face. you need to hold the diary and face. do something with it. I, it's saying face is what I'm understanding. Face. Do I? Because I'm at a disadvantage, apparently, face. with face. trying to use it's... my tablet. Well, see, it's saying face. Isn't isn't that the hint? Like. Okay, it People doesn't want me to do all the time. I torture other pages. With manual head pads. Face. Face. I have no idea what. Face. Do you want to look it up, Star? Because my I'm drawing a blank. Uh, what is it? Koji is his name again. Koji, yes, K O G I, the J I. Sorry. What is the name of the game again? Uh, uh, Spirit Camera, the Cursed Memoir. Let's see. Cause if I have to do something with this as if it's as if it is a physical page, I'm gonna be so fucked. <laughs> gonna try and see if I can find the Also, Jolly, see the what you just said in chat just made me go, you monster! What? 
uh, Jolly wrote, how could you, you monster, when Munkle said that he was having me do manual work for the headpack gif. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty sur- Oh yeah, no, Zoma, I've had spirit camera since, um, since I was in high school. But I ended up losing my physical copy of the Book of Faces. But considering my experience with, um, like, using my iPad and iPhone, whatever, for AR cards and whatnot, considering the backlight, I figured that having my digital versions of the pages Face. would have, uh... Oof, that sucks. Face. No, this is... no? Face. Wait, no, what, 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 this is scenario two, right? Face. No, uh, um, what the fuck is this? Face. You need to hold the diary and Face. do something with it. Hold on. Face. 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 Ugh, this guide is so unhelpful. Yeah. Peekaboo is is the how long? We we just finished up with hide and seek. Yes. So we're hold on. I still have God, my copy. Why do they write this like this? Oh, okay, wait, wait. Um, you got it? Maybe? Oh, crumpled picture. Here it is. Crumpled picture. Yes. You're on the crumpled picture. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's see, so. Talk to Maya, scan page 10 out of the book, uh, look up when prompted to see an outline of the doll, talk to Maya. Do we have the darkness lens? Yes. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to toggle to the darkness lens. Face. No. Face. Okay, hold on, let's see what else. Yeah, we only. Uh, oh, sorry, we don't have the darkness lens. Maya. We only have the zero Try lens Maya, and please. purple mirror. Try talking to Maya. Most of, most of the drawing is all crumpled up on the right Maybe. side. We do need a physical version. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you're not gonna be able to finish the game then. No, I'm, I'm gonna fuck with this. Hold on. Wait, 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 let me see this. After brief scene, flip either your 3DS camera or the booklet upside down. Try, try flipping... Try flipping a tablet upside down, try flipping your camera upside down, apparently, I guess. If it's upside down... Yeah, does it want the... after brief scene, uh, while you have the darkness lens toggled on, either flip your 3DS camera or the booklet upside down and scan the notes the other way. Like, is it the back of it? No, the, the, uh, page 12. Page 12. Mm-hmm. Find page 12. Well, page 12 is the music okay, cool. note. Yeah, that's fine. It's saying, it's saying scan page 12 of the book and while it, while it has the darkness lens toggled on. I do not have the darkness lens. I only have the purple mirror lens. Well, that's why I was asking if you had it. Because uh, apparently we need to... You, well, I'd, try toggling it. Are you sure you don't have it? Yeah, I only have the zero lens and the purple mirror lens. Oh dear, hold on. Hold on, let me see... If I can try something... Wait a minute, I think I know what might need to be done. Because if it's not that we need to, like, bring him closer, then it might be...
So let's try bringing him closer. Just gonna fudge the game a little bit with... Nope, okay. That just screws... Okay. Yeah, that screws with the sensor. So, okay. What did you say again, love? It's like the diary was tilted and everything fell apart. Maybe? Wonder if tilting it the other way will fix anything. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe? That's what I was saying. It do the... the... That's so that what I was saying. Like, when you flip the camera... I don't want to sh If I have to show my face, though... No, it shouldn't. And if you do, it's it's probably the face that you registered. Uh. Is it saying show your face? But remember the right. game. Your face is the face that you gave it. Then I will pull this Just up. Try showing your face. Hello? Maybe? No. It doesn't want my face. It still wants something from the original page. Yeah, like I said, it's the way that this guide is talking about it is you need the darkness lens. I know I know I don't know if they mean darkness lens or if they mean the purple lens. You know what I mean? Right. Uh but they say that you need to have you need to Face. What page is that that you're on right now? Is that 10? This is page 9. Face. Go to page 10. Face. Go to page this 10. is where we're getting the interactions. Face. I know, but go to page 10. Okay. This uh, is page 10. Yeah. Apparently you have to move it around and take a picture of any random spot to get a picture of a doll. So. It's not letting me take a picture. At all? No, it is demanding that I interact with this and solve Face. it. Face. Face. Oh my god, what the fuck do you want me to do? This guide is literally written like absolute dog ass, so... Right? Is there another one that perhaps is written far better? Oh! Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so... Oh, so you have to, in one hand, you've got to hold the diary in the 3DS in the other, and then tilt the diary to the left. Oh, shoot. Apparently my uh, view switched. There we go. Let's fix that. There we go. Sorry, what was that? So you have to hold the diary in one hand, the 3DS in the other, and tilt the diary to the left. Tilt the diary to the left? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have to hold the diary in one hand, and then Face. while you're holding it, Face. tilt it to the left. Face. 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 Let's see. Ah. Uh... What? Okay. So, because he kept saying face, so. It's a no, drawing it's just of a boy tilt. without a face, and now it's come true. I know, but he, the only clue was face. It's like, okay, boy, what do you want me to do with the face? Right. And with the whole tilting thing, I was like, wait, I, I was just confused with that. That that was a neat puzzle, though. Also, hopefully that accidental switch in the view wasn't too off-putting. Uh, also, talk to Maya. I'm trying. No, it won't let me. Okay, well, back to the diary then. He was he in was the page. In page. He was in this page, but now I think he might be somewhere near us. Look for him. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's up above. 
that child. Oh. Oh, oh I'm gonna die. He's behind you, isn't he? I remember the part. Face? LOL. You don't need faces. Oh, that's it. Don't make that sound. Oh, that was too early. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you brat? Behind you, what? Oh no, that was fucking quick, man. Please stop making that sound as a child. Whoever did the voice acting for this child needs to brush up on their skills. Yeah, I just it does and say please don't do that as a child. Oh, where'd you go? You angry. There we go. Well so yeah, seriously, whoever voice acting for this child. That did not sound right for a child. That's what I was just saying. The dark lady is waiting, but not just for anyone, and not for me, so I'm leaving. I don't need a big sister who's nothing but scary. No kidding. I found the dark lady's secret inside of something nice. If you find the secret, you can leave. So come over here with me, then take me with you. Alright, Maya, where'd you go? Those were his last words. He wanted to escape so badly. He wanted us to notice him. To help him. I'm so sorry. He might be the reason that the woman in black found him. The boy's last words. There's something about what he said. Stay with me. Oh, God damn it! How are y'all coming out the woodwork? The diary showed us her words before. Let's look at that page again. Pull up the blank page. Is it, is it just gonna say Monika Sarenai again? No. Okay, Zutto Sobani Itte. And yes, I'm prioritizing the Japanese. I know that there were English subtitles underneath it, but fuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she already said it. She caught Keito and Koji, and now they're both gone. They tried to escape the diary to get away from her, but she wouldn't let them. She wants someone to stay with her. So you steal their faces? That's not how you get people to stay, you dumb shit. It's not much information. But we've learned some things about the woman in black. Let's think about what we've learned. Is there anything you want to ask me? So this is all just recap moments. Do we just want to skip it? Yeah, we. I mean, we already did it, right? The curse yeah. of the diary. Fine. Hold on. Uh. The woman in black pulls people in and traps them within the diary. Why is she doing all of this? What's driving her actions? Well, the one thing that we know is that she wants someone to stay with her. We don't yeah. know if this is... I don't think that's right. Me, you, Kai... Okay, Sorry. Well, she must have a reason for pulling people in the diary. We... We I've might be because she's lonely! That's what she keeps I've been saying. waiting. Oh, okay. You keep talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do you think she's looking for someone specifically? Yeah, probably a lover or a child or yes, something. That might be right. Car. Do you remember what Koji said? But not just for anyone and not for me. She must be waiting for a certain someone. Yes, that is implied. That might be why she's pulling people into the house. Into the My god, they really are redundant with this thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know who the woman in black is waiting for. But if we can figure out who it is and talk, take that person to... Why? Maybe that will break the curse. No! You don't bring an evil being! The thing they want, it never works! Maya's also been stuck in in this herself. So maybe her understanding of logic is not all that sound right now, thanks to the book. Alright, so from the looks of it, we have three bosses left. Kaito and Koji became those things, and now they're gone. Fine. We already read this. Nope. No, oh no, they both. Well, we did it, and we did. They both tried to escape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah both tried, they both tried to escape, but there are others trapped in the diary. Maybe one of them knows something about the woman in black. Someone she hasn't found yet. Someone who's hiding and hasn't tried to escape. That's you a tall know, order, Maya. You, you wouldn't know my theory. Hmm. It's Maya. Yeah, because she's the only one not a bitch. She's the only, she's the only one not acting like all the other ones. Right. Like, Maya's just been our tutorial person. Like, why is she here other than to be a tutorial? Yeah, not only that, but all of the other ghosts were dark and Someone like me. cold. She's right. like bright. She know. hasn't lost her face. There still might be someone in the house. In the dark. Oh. Uh, do you hear that? Strange sound emerged from the camera obscure. Now we have the darkness lens. Okay, that, that, that other thing was absolute bullshit. Ugh. Let's use the power of this new lens to look for other people. Maybe we can find someone in the darkness who can tell us about the woman in black. And maybe, just maybe, we can find who she's been waiting for. I just hope it doesn't turn out to be one you? of us. You? Alright. Now I can actually turn to face my mic. Also adds in three and a half minutes. The woman in black is waiting for someone. That's what the boy said. The person she's waiting for may hold a clue about how to escape the curse. I need to search new pages and look for clues. Who is the woman in black looking for? some new pages with the camera. Wow. Mm. Uh, there are pictures connected to both Kaito and Koji in the diary. Also, I'm going to turn off those. Okay. I bet there are images of memories of other prisoners somewhere in the diary. If there are oh other my god. In those pages. Sorry, Look. the writing is... Oh. oh yeah, no, the writing of this is stale. This was a really, really poor translation. I'm curious to know what the dialogue was like in the Japanese version or in other la Probably in other languages for this. this. Right? Hey, find the diary page. 
that the camera reacts to. I'm gonna hit the hay. Y'all have fun. You have a good night! Why are none of these... Oh, is it because of the warm filter that I have on because of nighttime? Hold on. Ha! There we go. Sorry, had to fix that because the night shift on my phone, not my phone, my tablet was throwing this off. Oh, okay. At least I thought it was. Eh? Oh, okay. This is chronological. A doll. Oh, we. Oh, this is where we deal with the doll. Oh, okay. Somewhere in that house in the dark, the two of us were together. It was a black night. We were so afraid. Look up. Oh. Oh, that was neat. All right. Was that the doll in the photo? It looked like a real person. She's out of the diary, hiding somewhere in the dark. The darkness in the house terrified me. I always felt like something was there. If we could see through the darkness, we could see what's hidden in the shadows. Darkness lens. Okay, the lamp at the top of the upper screen will glow blue when... What? Oh, okay. Okay. So I just need to look around. Falls in from ceiling, Alwu. Yellow! Whoever just hopped in, hopped in from the ceiling, hello? Look at the ceiling. Nope. Okay. Where do you think I should be? Right. Hey, Drake! She's hiding somewhere around here, somewhere in the dark. Use the camera's power to look into the darkness Maybe. and find it. Might learn something if you can take a picture of her while she is hiding. Oh! I just had to generally take a picture. It's a girl's voice. She's scared. Star, Maya, Lime. Oh yeah, no, no, you're fine. Yeah. It, it's, it's. I'm just starting to get tired. Uh, she wants us to help her. She's not a doll after all. Do you need to go to sleep soon? I'm pro probably. Considering this is the third to last boss, with how quickly we're actually getting through this, so long as the final boss isn't that difficult, I might be able to do this pretty quickly. So we'll see what happens. Do you want me? Page in the diary where the terrified girl in the darkness appeared. The big doll on that page, I remember it. It was important to me. Yeah, it's Maya. It was with me in the house, then darkness. It was my only... Wait. I think there was something else about that doll. Also, why does it look like her hands are tied together? 
Oh, it does. Unless Bring the dark side together. Yeah, because I was like, she keeps bringing them up together, but I was like, I can't tell if that's a glitch or if they're actively tied together. Oh, I can't get closer to her. But yeah, no. Her her hands are bound. Look down at her hands. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm close to remembering something. That doll is the same as the one in my memories. That page. It has something to do with me. Who's that girl? Do I know her? Look. There's something on the floor. I wonder if it belongs to her. Ever since I took that book, I've been hearing a song in my dreams. I wonder if it's the music in the book. The notes don't seem to match up, though. It's really beautiful, but sad, too. In the pauses of the music, I can also hear a mournful melody. The woman who wears black. Does she want me to play this song? I finally figured out by I finally figured it out by looking closely at the sheet music. I was confused by the ink stains. Now I know how it goes. If I play it for her, I wonder if the woman in black will be happy. Really? I hear music. Line. Uh, can you hear it too? It's very familiar. Yes. This is her daughter. I remember it. It's a song I yes, liked. Yes, I remember it. It's a song I liked. This Wait. Maya's her fucking daughter. Maya is whose daughter? Are we saying that she's the daughter of the woman in black? Mm-hmm. I'll think about it. Like, she was with the woman in black for a really long time. She keeps remembering these things that are both, like, connected to her and not the way that her hands are bound. Darn you, the Automot fact that XD. she hasn't gotten her face fucking torn off. So the solution <laughs> this whole time was to serenade the lordless wench slash LH. <laughs> Love you, Drake. And actually, Star, I... Spoiled myself on the ending because I never got past it as a kid. Mm -hmm. Do you want a hint on what the ending is? Um, I guess so. I mean, I, again, I'm just guessing because I've never heard of this game up until today. Here is your hint. Me. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My brain is so tired. I wasn't expecting it. I was like, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Believe me, when we get to the ending, you will know why I say the hint is me. Where's that coming from? If I could just hear it again, I feel like I'm close to remembering something. Can you figure out where that music was coming from? Please. If I hear it again, I might remember something. If y'all can voice this much, how much you... Ugh. It's starting to get me cranky, y'all. No. <laughs> oh, it's upside down. Let me fix that. Ha <laughs> Noise. Oh. Into the pocket dimension we go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to death we go. No. <laughs> what? Didn't find that funny? 
Uh, what the fuck is happening here? I think the vines are ensnaring her. Oh, I don't like the creep. Yeah, that sound is. I hated it. Okay. Once the vision faded, the music stopped playing. Someone trembling in the dark. Like I was. Line. No, uh, I was in the house alone and scared in the darkness. But then I played that beautiful song. Yes, I remember. That song. I listened to it with someone important to me. Someone from my family. Your mother. <laughs> See, now if... Like, I, I mean this as a genuine question to go with your theory. If the woman in black is Maya's mother, why do you think that the woman in black has become so vengeful to the point to where she is pulling people into the cursed memoir or the diary of faces? Considering Maya's hands are bound, something obviously happened to Maya. Unless How her hands being bound is a is like a what is the word metaphor? Right. I mean, First typically people, with Fatal Frame. Uh, typically with the Fatal Frame series, they tend to focus a lot on rituals gone wrong. What does that make you think? Bitch was sacrificed! <laughs> Maya remembers a song and a doll. There was a scared girl trembling in the dark. Maya mentioned someone from her family. Is the girl related to Maya? If she could be rescued, perhaps Maya's memory will return. You good? No, oh, man, I can hear my laugh. It's that tired laugh where it's like, you want to laugh, but you don't even have the energy to laugh. Someone yeah. was with me in the house. Oh. That, that was your intonation. Oh. But also, I'm laughing because I have man it's like in my hair, but he's also like twitching in my hair. It's like, oh, are you are you stuck? Do you, are you in need of assistance? Meh. Also, a line. Well, I was afraid she would play that song. I don't know when exactly we'll get to this boss, but do you want to go to bed after this boss? Because you if sound tired. Yes, if we can get to this, it's almost one in the morning. Yeah. Which isn't bad, but it's been a while since I've stayed. Like, I. It's been a while. Right. Also, I work today, so, like. Okay. I did but I did a lot of shit today. Yeah. Also, we have. We officially are going to have a fifth week for orphan holidays. Let's go. Nice. That frightened girl, was she part of my family? Maya, you better hope to fucking God she was. I can hear her. She's so afraid. Help! Help! It's dark. Help me. The shadow on the screen. The woman is there. Here she comes again. I'm so scared. Help me. I don't want to play that song anymore. I've had enough. I'm not a doll. It's so oh. dark. Please help me. Did you see that? What did, um... It was like a visual glitch, oh, almost. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hold on. Sometimes the 3DS just gets weird, especially with the capture board. Capture the girl's cry. Access it under the... Yep. She's crying for help. 
Do you want me to just read them? Somewhere in the dark, somewhere in the house, in the pages of the diary. Sorry, I know you're tired. She, no, you're fine. She might be a member of my family. Please, we have to help her. Where? Yeah, the woman in black might be nearby. Where? We have to help the girl before the woman in black finds her. She's hiding somewhere in the dark. Somewhere on the other side of that screen. Oh! Sorry, that was interesting. Yeah, I that saw felt that. like behind me. Is it which page? Because that looked like the partition that find the diary. Okay, find the page that's the... Uh, aha! It was this one. She already found her. Yeah, she found her. What's happening behind that screen? We might not be too late. Behind the screen? Or do we have to use... <laughs> no, this lens won't work. Light the lamp behind the screen. The hole's too dark. Use the lamp to I... illuminate it. Oh, there's... There's a page with a lamp. Okay, look at the hole. There we go. Look into the hole in the page. Yep. Let me... Hello? Or was I supposed to be still on that page? If so, that's mean. I did your thing, why are you not working? For the hole in the screen. Yeah? I tried to do that. But you weren't registering. Do I have the brightness too hard? Come on. Look into the hole in the page. This is where it was. No. Come on, game. Did I have to look at the lamp again? OK, 
because it's not wanting to register it at all. Come on. Come on, game. You were doing just fine. Let's see. It's a portrait. Okay, images lamp. Okay, or, yeah. Go to thirteen, and you'll see the same lights on the previews. Page thirteen. All right. I'm also using a walkthrough. Oh wait, no, that's fourteen. It's, it's, it's like I said, the walkthroughs are the same. Ask. Yeah, images of the lamp. Proceed to and then go back to page eleven. Move the portrait, look up to see the, the... I... Oh, now you show the hole! This is page 11! Here we go. Look around. Oh! Giant woman! Ooh, look at mama. <laughs> no! Not this fucking... Are we seriously going fucking grudge with this shit? Apparently so. Look at her go. She's gone invisible now. No. No. Yep. Oh. Gotta be careful. As she is crawling on my computer. Yep, yep. She's returned to the darkness. Got you. Come on, where are you at? Oh! Shit, I was on the wrong lens. There we are. I gotta be careful. Look at her go. She, she... She on a mission. Okay, she's down. When the doll like girl disappeared, her voice emerged from the camera obscura. I'm just a replacement doll. A replacement for someone important. 
She's been waiting for someone for a long time. If she can find the person she's waiting for, she won't be alone anymore. My faith will get taken away. I'll be broken. I... I'm not a doll. I'm not a replacement. I want to go home. Yay! Captured a doll like voice. Nice. Now. We couldn't save her. We. Okay. She might have known who I am. She might have been family. In her last words, she mentioned being a replacement for someone important. She is pulled into the diary of faces to take someone's place. All because she played that song. The woman in black treated her like a plaything, like a doll. Yes. She made her play that song. That song I liked. She's been waiting for someone for a long time. All right. Next little tidbit. Do you want to head off and sleep, hun? Yes, as I am. Like, I'm feeling it. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Mm hmm I'm also feeling my tired myself. Okay, yeah, you're I can on the go. Other side of the world and it's early in the morning for you. What? No, what? No, oh, it's like Isn't 3 it? p.m. It's almost 3.30 oh. p.m. Oh, shit. <laughs> I might. No, I'm just... <laughs> Speaking of Finland, am I gonna be riding solo for a little bit then? Yeah. Hey, yeah. all good. I'm sorry. Hey, all good. I'm glad that y'all were able to hop over for as long as you did, though. Nice one, Cole. Hey, y'all try not to have too much fun. Yeah. Night. 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 All right. The girl Maya thought might be family had her face taken by the woman in black. Did Maya lose more than her memory? Did she also lose a loved one? The girl's words remained after she vanished. She was brought to the house as a replacement. Also adds in less than four minutes. Hi Maya again. Well, how about I turn around? Is it'll be easier to... Nope. You just moved. Okay. Who was she? The woman in black treated her like a plaything and then took her face. Did you hear her last words? She, sh she said, I'm not a replacement. She said, I want to go home. A strange sound emerged from the camera obscura. Ooh, the restoration lens. Reconstruct the past. Did the camera react to her voice? Maybe there's still something she wants to tell us. I wonder if this new lens will cause any changes in the diary. Well? Damn it. There's something there where the girl was. Crumbled page. Today, too. Oh, hold on. Fuji is being weird. Meow. Sorry, Fuji Tech decided to do an absolute derp. So, okay. Guess we're flying solo right now. If y'all want to chat, do whatever, ask me questions while I'm getting through the rest of this game, feel free to ask away. I'm always open. Today, too. I hear that song when I close my eyes. I hear the woman calling me. Not me. It's someone else's name. Am I inside the diary? I heard about it in school. About the diary of faces. Something about this song, too. If you play the music in the diary, you become its prisoner. You'll become a replacement for someone. 
can't sleep. I'm afraid of the dark. I told my brother, but he wouldn't listen. He said I was just tired. That I was being a little baby. I wish that were true. No. That's not my name. My name is Kiori. Kiori Hasere. How can I make you forgive me? Should I apologize? Help me. Help me, I'm sorry. Is this a page from her diary? Maybe she wrote it before being trapped. Shiori. Her name is Shiori. Shiori Hasebe. Hasebe. She's his sister. We need to reunite her with her brother. I think that's what she wanted. Find the... okay. It's typically chronological. Reunite with her brother. Yay! Oh, okay. And it reverted. She's Kaito's sister. She wasn't my family. Maybe the person I remember from my family is already gone. Or maybe she's somewhere else. Do you see this? On the page next to Kaito's. Ooh, another page. Kaito Asabe's journal. Yori's last words before she disappeared. The woman in black is getting close. She calls me by the wrong name and makes me play that song in the diary. The same thing over and over. I've tried to tell her who I am, but she won't believe me. She lost somebody important, and I'm that person's replacement person who loved that song. Until it happened, I thought it was impossible for my sister- oh sorry, that was Kaito. Until it happened, I thought it was impossible for my sister to fall victim to the diary's curse, and for me to suffer the same fate. There must be some clue in her diary or last words. This is Kaito's journal. Is there something he's still trying to tell us? Oh, we got ads going. I am going to wait a little bit. Sorry for the silence. I'm going to be typing. Thanks to everyone watching. Thank you for your patience and support as we run through the game. I hope to finish it tonight. Yay. Alright, so I see that ads are finished up. I just put down some links for my card, which is a little website that also discloses like person like lore related info for myself and my headmates. If you also want uh, as quick updates as you could probably get, 
regarding schedule changes or community events, anything like that, feel free to check out the official Discord. It is in collaboration with my partner system, the Nixir Clan, aka Nebulas Noctis. Do not know when you hop in, you have 15, 1, 5 minutes to verify that you have read the rules. Otherwise, you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots meant to curb against hate raids and trolls. Alright. Kaito's journal. There's something he's still trying to tell us. Kaito. Koji. Shiori. They're all gone. They all tried to tell us something. I started to remember things. Let's try and piece it all together. I was in the house with someone from my family. We were scared for so long. I thought it might have been Shiori. But she's Kaito's sister, not mine. She wasn't part of my family. The doll in that photo. I knew that doll. I was all alone. It was my only friend. Was it the doll that I thought was my family? No. There was a real person. I'm sure of it. When I heard that song, I remember. I was with someone in that dark house. I like that song. I played it all the time. I wanted someone in my family to hear it. She already played the song. And then the woman in black? She trapped Shiori in the house to replace someone. The doll and the sheet music. Those pages overlap with my memories. We've got all the bits and pieces. We just need to tie them together. Do you have any ideas? I'm just gonna say it straight up. I think you're right. The woman in black wanted to hear that song. And it's a song I know. A song I liked. She wanted to hear the same song I used to play. The woman in black isn't just waiting for someone. She's waiting for me. Her curse has taken so many people. If it has anything to do with me... She's been waiting so long. <sighs> waiting for me. If I meet the woman in black, I might be able to end the curse. I found you. I won't let you escape again. Well, it's her. Her voice must be coming from where she already was. The photo of the doll. Photo of the doll. Alright, different lens. Got it. We'll do restoration. No. Oh, nope, that worked. Uh, yellow? Ah. There we are. The doll I loved. She's connected to the doll too. That's why she treated Shiori like one. But she has no need for a replacement doll now. She's found the real thing. She's found me. What? Oh, just a slow fade to black. Maya thought Shiori might be family, but Shiori is the sister of another victim, Kaito. Maya's memories seem to be mysteriously linked to the Woman in Black's actions. Maya now believes that the person the Woman in Black is waiting for is her. Can you stand any closer, love? Sheesh! Woman in black is waiting for me. If I meet with her, maybe I can put an end to this curse. But if I'm wrong, we'll both pay for my mistake. Let's investigate the older records within the diary. I 
and need to know if meeting with her is the right thing to do. There must be something in the old records about why the curse is linked to the diary. Old records. Old memories. They're buried in time. Their color lost. <gasps> Maya is frightened of something. It must have something to do with the old colorless records. Well, they're looking at me. Oh. Maya is sensing the gaze of a crowd coming from them that find a page with many people. I remember this photo. It was in the house. I hate it. <laughs> the timing of that bat was so funny, Drake. That was so good. That was so good. Flip it, please. Stop staring at me. I didn't do anything. I don't know anything. My timing remains pristine. Please. Let me go. I'm sorry. Keep that picture. I can hear them. No, it's not me you want. Why did you run? The right is the only way to save the village. We must welcome the spirits. I was right. It's a it's a fucking ritual gone wrong. The, so we must invite a spirit into the shrine maiden, the vessel. He who shares no bonds. We must invite a spirit. You want to force a possession on someone as a ritual? God damn. Wow. If we don't act soon, it'll be too late. We must perform the rite or our village is doomed. The maidens escaped. We must find her and seal her eyes and mouth. Just like what happened to Kaito. Captured the villagers' voices. By the spirit? Save the village? What is this right? I don't understand any of this. But that very last line. Seal her eyes and mouth. The woman in black takes people's faces. Is that the same thing? Must be sealed. Who is that? That wasn't the woman in black. For the right. Never escape. Someone's calling from the diary. For the rites? Look for a page that depicts the ancient rites. Uh, let's see. Was it the same one that I was on earlier? Because it didn't didn't react. Yeah, is this not it? Because this looks like it. It picks an ancient right. Oh. Interesting. Clipped. That was too blobbish for me to figure out. Thank you, Drag. And I've heard that warning again and again. Never escape. Seal the eyes and mouth. A purple mist. Is something hidden in this drawing? The mist disappeared. Are those vines a barrier to keep people from escaping?
the vines covering the drawing disappear or vanished. It looks like the seal's been broken. Oh, is this the right of sealing the eyes and mouth? Why do they do that? Must be sealed. The spirit for the village. The spirit must never escape. Oh, battle time. Oh, thankfully you were somewhat easy. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, I don't like you looking at me like that, Granny. I need to turn this way. What? Final boss. This is the ritual. Okay, find Maya. I was worried. I'm just taking all the pictures. That was the woman in Black's memory. She ran from the rights, but the villagers caught her. And then the old woman. She completed the rites. The woman in Black's eyes and mouth were sewn shut. Why did she show that to me? There's a piece of paper where the old woman was. This mysterious plague continues to take our villagers. Even the doctor has given up hope. Outsiders won't come near the village anymore. I believe the village cannot be saved unless we welcome the spirits through the right of eternal sight. The Shrine Maiden turns 18 this very night. A child severed from a hearth and a home, forced to live in isolation with no worldly bonds, he is now ready to become an eternal vessel. This is the will of our Kami. To prepare the shrine... Sorry, I thought I saw glitching. 
let me know if there is ever any glitching from what you guys see for exist, the screens. And I must scrim. Spee! Hi, Spee! Yeah, y'all, let me know if there's, like, any visual glitches from these 3DS screens, and I, I will... A -A 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 and I will unplug and plug back in the, uh, the cord that I have that's connected. We are this close to the end. Let's see if I can actually beat the final boss in, like, one go. To prepare the Shrine Maiden to become a vessel and carry out her final duty, I must oh, seal noise. her eyes and mouth. Only I can prepare the vessel and call upon the spirits. Whether the right brings a being of good or evil into the vessel is beyond my control. We got the old woman's note! This belonged to her. To prepare a vessel for the right, they would seal a shrine maiden. That's what happened to the woman in black. For the sake of her village, her eyes and mouth were sewn shut. We are so, so close. So, so, so close. The fearful words of the old woman and villagers. The scene the woman in black showed Maya. The girl selected to be the maiden in the right lived in isolation until the age of 18. Then had her eyes and mouth sewn shut to become a vessel. The woman in black was the maiden. was forced to live in isolation just for the right. Let me turn on the head pat since I'm doing my PNG. Here we go. Also, thank you for the hydrate. And twists. Hold on. I will get noms after stream just because i do have leftovers for something that i want to nom on but it's kind of hard to nom on stuff when you have a handheld console <laughs> let me do those squats and twists starting off with the squats one two rip xd three four five six seven eight Nine. Zen! And for the twists. Ooh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. The woman in black was forced to live in isolation just for the right. She uses her curse to trap people because she was so unbearably lonely in life. And she takes their faces to reenact the right in which her eyes and mouth were sewn shut. Could this be the truth behind the curse of the diary? What if the right failed? What if the woman in black became imprisoned in darkness? If whatever caused the right to fail also started the curse, that memory that the woman in black showed me, why did she show it to me? What does she want me to remember? There was a mistake. The maiden shared a bond with someone. A bond that must be severed. No one is nearby. What? Oh. Well, hello.
The power of the paparazzi compels you. Yep, yep. That's how I do it. Ha ha, okay. Don't panic when her hands come up. Seal the eyes and mouth. If the maiden shares even a single bond with someone, she'll remain attached to this world and fail as a vessel. If an evil spirit is called down through the right, it will escape that it will escape an impure vessel, and all will become dark. The village will be destroyed. If not for this plague sorry, got hiccups, none of this would have happened. If the maiden hadn't shared a bond. We wouldn't need to do this. So the ceremony has come to this. All bonds must be severed to keep the spirit contained. The vessel must be sealed. The spirit must never escape. Or... Sever a bond? Between me and the woman in black? I wonder if folks have figured it out yet. What bond could I share with her? I'll show you what I have done, what you have done. Remember. When it gets to the point where the twist is actually given, I will say it. Well, was that the woman in black's memory? She was trapped in the darkness. The villagers, I don't understand. Why did she show me? I only remember being scared and alone in that house, and then. She was there. My family. The two of us. I remember. She's my family. My only family. 
This house is big and dark. I've been alone all this time, lonely and afraid. I just want someone to talk to. My silhouette on the screen, the big doll that's been thrown away, anything will do. The only diary left by that old woman. Well, the old diary left by that old woman. I want to share a diary with someone. With a family. With a sister. He answered me. Someone who's not me. Someone who'll stay with me. Her and me together always. The diary is a bond. A bond we can share forever. The girl has the same name as me. Maya and Maya. She'll know everything. She'll accept everything. She'll be my only family. This bitch has DID! Let's go! No one can understand. I had family. We shared a diary. It was our own world. The door that connected us. I'm so sorry. I remember now. I remember everything. It's all my fault. I need to tell you everything. I don't know where to start. Please, will you listen to me? The rite of greeting, of surrendering to a spirit, was an ancient ceremony in the village. The village was struck by a plague and abandoned by its doctor. There was no other choice. A maiden without a family. A maiden with no bonds whatsoever, one raised in complete isolation. I was that maiden. The maiden must have her eyes and mouth sewn shut to become a spirit vessel. Once a spirit is captured in the vessel, it can never escape. But I wasn't fit to be the maiden. I wasn't truly alone. I had created another Maya. Another me. She was my only family. When the rite started and my eyes and mouth were sealed, something entered me. The spirit. It was evil. It was darkness. I lost consciousness, but the other Maya awoke. The darkness took her instead of me. It imprisoned her within itself. The loneliness was unbearable. She never stopped longing for a family. So she pulled people into the diary and took the faces of those who tried to escape. She didn't want to be alone. She kept them and my lost memories trapped with her in her isolation. Like I said, the bitch got DID. The diary of faces was my doorway to her world. At first she was like a doll, and I was just playing house. So at first she was a fragment. She was she was only around based on a directive of fulfilling loneliness. If not a if not a traumagenic had made them a thought form. But at some point, I don't know when, she began to communicate with me. So I thought she was truly alive. Somewhere on the other side of the diary. If I could pass through the diary into her world, we could be together. That's all I ever wanted. I just did the a diary. diary of faces was my doorway to her world. Oh, okay, yeah, That's I just, I... I just read all that. Okay. That's all you want to know. You didn't disclose anything else. Can I ask you something? What was my mistake? Nothing. I mean, okay. In the eyes of the situation with the right and everything, the fault was sharing a bond. Because the, the Miko had to be bondless. 
However, in the situation, especially coming from someone who is dissociative, I'm not going to fault the character for having a headmate to keep them company. Fuck the right, because the, the, the fault or the mistake is from those around Maya who put her and her headmate in this situation. Also, hey, Teddy. How we doing? We are close. Close to finishing up this game. We just have the final boss. I don't know how many times it's going to take for me to beat it. I know Nitro Rad said that the final boss was a nightmare. Yes. I shared a bond. For. For what? What? What, you're assuming four times? I was forced to live alone in that house. I was the maiden. The spirit vessel. Over time, I created another Time's personality yet. within myself. I created another world. A simple place. Just for the two of us, me and Maya. We used the diary to promise each other that we'd always be together. He wasn't real. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Get your wording right, honey. But I created a bond with her just the same. Exactly. So she is real. Just because she's not on this plane don't mean that she's not real. Fuck off with that ableist mentality, Maya, and you'll do just fine. That was my mistake. My eyes were sewn shut, and the rite began. That's when it happened. I lost consciousness, and she awoke. She was all alone. I remember a scream in the darkness. Like someone being torn in two, swallowed by darkness. I became trapped in the diary that connected us. Thank you. I understand now. I know why she takes people's faces. Why she sews their eyes and mouths shut. I know what I have to do. I'm Maya. And the other Maya, too. I'm the only one who can appease her. But she's trapped in the darkness. She's become an evil spirit. I have to find a way to destroy the darkness. I figure y'all might appreciate this game as well, given how much I push a lot of stuff related to dissociative and plural advocacy. Because yes, I did spoil myself and learn the twist, because I never actually finished this game as a kid. So, yeah. The woman in black is Maya. I'm just going to correct the wording here. She is Maya's family. Maya and Maya. If the two of them meet, the curse might end. Trapped by darkness, Maya became an evil spirit. The darkness must be dispelled. and mouth were sealed I fell into never ending darkness that darkness you can't see anything it's empty endless I lost consciousness when I awoke I was in the house I'd forgotten everything I vanished so the darkness took the Maya that remained she had to pay for my mistake A strange sound emerged from the camera obscura. With a new lens! What can this lens reveal? I'm so sorry, Maya. I brought all of this anguish and sadness upon you. I was near you in the house this whole time. You've forgotten everything. I was afraid of you. You've been waiting for me for so long. You've been carrying the weight of my mistake this whole time. You've paid such a terrible price for my freedom. I want to return to you. I want to be together again. She's coming. She's still trapped in the darkness. No, not like this. 
we pulled into the darkness too. Camera Obscura reacted to Maya. They're trying to reveal her true self. There we go. The camera obscura projected the woman in black's voice, Maya's voice. I've been waiting for you. You could see within me. You could touch my heart. You understood me. But when you swore you'd be with me forever, you left. You betrayed me. As long as you're here, the emptiness within me isn't empty anymore. Don't leave me. Let's go together to where we lost everything. Open the purple door. The voice and Maya vanish at the same time. Has Maya become the other Maya? Has the darkness consumed her? The place where the other Maya lost everything. The purple door. Both Mayas are in there somewhere. Different lens. What's the inversion? What if we open the green door? No. Okay. There we go. Now let's try the inversion. Aha! The purple door. Where everything was lost. Okay. The purple mist vanished. We're going in, buddy! Let's go. Hello? <laughs> We're gonna have to fight both Mayas here. Maya with the camera obscura. Uh 
What else do I need to do here? I don't think I need to be stuck like this. But she keeps cackling like a little bitch. I do not mind if people try and look up how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I'm supposed to be just stuck here. Oh! I wanted to get some good damage. Why do you resist me? That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I know this is phase one. Shit! Ah! Oh, fuck you. Didn't even give me enough time, you bitch. Are we good? Are we good? We done? We good? Maya? Look, I, I know that I can be a hoot sometimes, but you're going a little bit far here. <laughs> Thankfully, it's just two portals. Remember who you are. Can you quit with the cackling bitch? Some baby. I am pretty sure that even on a fucking Randy Felt face or John Mulaney show, you wouldn't be cackling this fucking much. <laughs> what? Am I only? Am I supposed to get a certain amount before you let me get at you again? There we go. All right, that was a little bit of damage. Ah. So close. So close. Thanks, one done.
DS games always had a problem with repetitive audio or intrusive tutorials and I remember getting so annoyed by them. Oh yeah. Oh. Phase one done. We. Please, the camera. Stop me. Okay. While I love the fact that we have some dissociative representation, I hate the monster within me trope, and this is falling right into that. Can we not, please, game? Here she goes. IXD. Oh, Just quickly get her there. Oh! Did not realize that these are such powerful shots! You. Oh heck. Why? Okay. Now a reversion. Oh, now you switch. That was too close for comfort. You were gonna POV throw that on me. Photographer. Okay. Blue Maya doesn't take a lot of damage. I got you! Oh, I gotta wait until the aura almost hits me. Yes, that deflects it. I have to rely on Blue Maya to get hits in. Oh, 
No! Never escape. Damn it! Ah! Oh. Okay. I just got too ballsy with that one. Okay, second try. We are so close. I figured out the pattern. I know the pattern. Send off Maya and Maya with the camera obscure. Yep. You got Dini, yes. One I got this. Four. When it gives me a shot. Got it. Okay, yeah, we're at the we're at the beginning beginning. As soon as it gives me a, sh a chance, that's when I have the strike on her. Now they're switching! Okay, so I can shoot at you at those points before you even send anything my way. Too early! Too early! Damn it. I gotta wait until she stretched her hands out. Okay. Now they're going to do constant switches. Damn it. Okay. I have to be very precise when she tries to aim. Hi. Second try of four. Oh, my legs are trembling. <laughs> nope! Fuck! I got two balls. Not again, not again! Okay. Derp. Third try. <laughs> oh, it is so close to 2 a.m. Two out four. What? See, at least Maya, at least Blue Maya here, doesn't. Fuck. Sorry, Luke. Sorry, not sorry. How about... Oh, you're switching. I don't know if you can tell, but like my hands are shaking. That's also an amazing time. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Damn it. I, need to... I think I need to get her before she ever tries to go at my hands. Or she brings her hands to me. Before she brings her hands to me, I need to attack her. I need to be vigilant. I need to be very, very vigilant. Yet I think it's before she ah. initiates the attack. Damn it! I have to be. Yeah, because my health is like pretty far down. 
Damn it. OMDM didn't notice the red circle XD. I did it! 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 I did can we not, please? I don't like seeing people in pain. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> we did it! Also, Nitro Rad, if you're watching, the solution to beating the Mayas one thing that helps out Dang. is you can um, deflect the auras that Red Maya sends out to you. No. Sorry, I directly pointed to Nitro Rad because I recently watched his um, review of the game. <laughs> it's okay. It's over. Why did you leave me? Why? I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm sorry. I'll never leave you again. Close your eyes. Oh, really? Ads are going right? When the ending is happening, you sack of shit. Let's stay here. Together. XD. And never leave. They're healing. And uh Oh, let's fucking go. Damn, this music goes hard. Let me stop it before I get a copyright strike. <laughs> but holy shit. Holy shit. That was awesome. That was awesome. I feel fucking triumphant. <laughs> Let me turn my mic down. Because holy shit. Ye is a good game. It is a good game. I love the story. The translation for the dialogue could have been a lot better. I can't say if the dialogue is just as bad in Japanese or in other languages. But that aside, I loved... I did like this. I did enjoy this. Sorry, I also have hiccups still. While the pacing could have been a little bit better, the dialogue could have been a bit better, and I get that they were trying to do a slow burn with the reveal, but they seriously could have done so much better than the whole fucking monster inside me kind of trope at the end. I get that they still humanize um, Red Maya, or I'll call her Akai, I guess for now, Japanese word for red, um, while 
And I'll call the other Maya Aoi, or blue, for differentiation. While Akai is humanized well enough to where it's like, oh yeah, Aoi, uh, Aoi and Akai were friends together during a time of severe isolation and forced away from the world due to a ritual. I get that it's because of the evil spirit that interfered with them in the ritual that led to Akai being so violent. But at the same time, do we really need to keep having this monsters inside me fucking trope? Why does this have to be a thing? Why? Because it gets so annoying with how many prominent stories that take influence from dissociative or plural experiences do this whole monsters inside me kind of trope. You wake up in your familiar surroundings. Oh! Yeah, I hear yet. Let me let y'all hear the game audio again. You wake up in your familiar surroundings. Let me also actually turn up this a bit since it's very quiet. Was it all a dream? You sense her from within the diary, from the page that started it all. Let's go to that first page. Thank you. Oh, they have such nice handwriting, I just realized. Her last words marked the end of the diary's curse. You've unlocked story mode and unlocked... Well, you've completed story mode and unlocked the extra story mode. Is that just a higher difficulty or is that actual extra bits? Select story mode from the, mo from the mode selection screen and choose from the beginning to play story mode extra. Let's go! Oh. Holy moly. I was not expecting to get through this all the way through tonight. Backslash but I'm slash. actually super stoked. Especially given the chances that we had tonight. But, holy moly. Holy moly. This was rad. This was awesome. Uh, seriously, massive thank you to all of you that were sticking around through this. I... I am floored. I enjoyed this. I forget... I forgot just how much that I enjoyed, like, bite size games like this. Things that are, like, easy to, like, play and do and fuck around with. And... You know what? For a... Nice... Hold on, let me... There we go. Let me turn that off. And let me actually turn on my music. Let me switch over this way. Holy moly. I'm still... I am still so surprised. But I am so grateful. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. I think I know a perfect candidate on who we can raid out to, unless anyone has the guide the raid point redeem. Speaking of point redeems, thank you all so, so much for bringing us to a fifth official week for Orphan Holidays this year. That means that Orphan Holidays will be starting on the 22nd. We will be starting bright and early with a very fun community-based game because Orphan Holidays is meant to be community as is. So. Excite the wall. Yay. So unless y'all have anyone that you want us to raid out to, I wager that we will be raiding out to Captain Florg, who deserves all the support, fun, and all that. So yeah. But for anyone that is uh, hopped in during stream and doesn't know what we do around here. This is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk anything that you ever called a friend. I'm a dream usher focusing on sleep, 
dreams and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. I do a whole bunch of stuff on here and obviously given my little tidbits regarding the story am dissociative and I try and do a lot of dissociative advocacy and whatnot by proxy. Because of that, I had a lot of fun not only playing, but dissecting this game. And yeah, if stuff related to like uh, disability, specifically plural or dissociative advocacy or autism advocacy, things like that are of interest to you, you're more than open to become part of my community, which is in collaboration with my partner system. Yes, they are also dissociative. The Nuxir clan, AKA Nebulas Noctis. Do you know that when you hop in the server, you have 15, one, five minutes to verify that you have read the rules. Otherwise you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots meant to curb against hate breeds and trolls. We are hoping to get back into some community nights um, as we had for a while, but crises for the both of us kind of threw that, that kind of threw that out the window. But do know that we do also have a few other platforms. Look, derp. How about I not put an S there? If you check out my card, not only will you see all of the other platforms that I am on, including my VOD channel and my other video essay and con lane channel, you will also see special info on myself and others in my system who may pop up time to time. Ren was kind of peeking in the background uh, a little bit. Ren was curious about what to play, but was kind of timid to uh, play solo. I tend to be more comfortable playing solo. So yeah, that said, let's get the raid message out. Let me, there we go. So raid message there. So there's the version for passersby. Here is the version for followers, and here is the version for subscribers. There we go. Ren be rendering. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, let's raid out to Flarg, who has actually played a pretty calm game that I think we will enjoy. Some nice eye bleach. Um, web fishing. So let's raid out to Captain Flarg. Oh, derp. Apparently didn't want the at. My brain is not wanting to work. There we go. So, do you know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together as the road to dusk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening. Whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye-bye!